Hello, and welcome back to Fate Final Notes. We will be joined in a little bit by a Stony, but until then, we'll just have these three. But first, you know the drill. Recap. Last time, the party, still somewhat separated, left the Witch of the Fog's place and went on their way to try and get closer to the Count's Manor, where their party is being held. Which they, they did succeed at. They just had a little extra help from the Shadows in the Fog than they wanted. And were a lot closer than they expected. And near a terrifying monster named Beowulf, who's at least a monster in Grendel's eyes. But hey, Johanna was fun. Johanna was perfectly fine, as they actually got some training from the Witch of the Fog before they left. I'd say that went well. Yeah. Very, very productive. But they too were sent away by the Shadows, but were able to use it to their advantage, and arriving almost exactly at the Count's place. Speaking of, I thought I saw a token that wasn't on the map for a second, which very much confused me. Mm. But speaking of the Count's place, the party is currently going on, and a few conversations have happened. Some people recognize our Oracle friend, or maybe they recognize another version of him, perhaps? Or is it really the same one? Johanna's met up with an old friend, or... A recently old friend. As well, Johanna and Zach have run into Heidi. Heidi. I'm never going to say her name the same way twice. I'm always going to switch, apparently. Who has declared herself an enemy of Zach. And a servant of Zach's one true enemy. Meanwhile, Hans has met the Caster of Cristo. Quite the man. Quite the strange individual. And mainly, Stony and Grendel have just met. I... Actually, no, wait, their name was never said. It's just someone who works for the Count. Just a pretty, just a pretty lady. Nothing else. And of course, we all know the Count of Saint Germain. Wonderful uh -huh. man. Nothing wrong with him. Sure. Yeah. See, you get it. <laughs> it's so dope. Let me down a little bit. And so first, I will ask Kobu specifically if you wanted your extra turn of interactions that were not given since we had to stop halfway. Before we just do a full new round. Copa? Okay, there he goes. That's the worst timing. Hi! There we go. Now it's lighting up. It, it wasn't lighting up detecting me talking. No, you weren't actually speaking. Okay, because I'd been trying to talk. At various no, points. These are the first uh, words. I am fine either way. I don't really think I have anyone I would want to talk to. Understood in that case. Ah, you know what? Roll me another initiative, you three. Let's see who needs to be forced to go next. Okey Oh, so glad I'm hey, briefly trying these. to figure out where my token is. Where am I? There I am. I forgot that there were two, uh, technically two floors. Oh, and you I just saw the top floor, and I'm like, where am I? <laughs> you just saw the top floor with what? almost no one. I did that was confusing. I'm like, I, <laughs> I know I'm somewhere. Ah, uh, speaking of Hans, maybe you are going first. Blech. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Maybe what I want to interact with, though, is the question. I just need what? There we go. Oh, never mind, you're not first. You have time. Argo's still going first. <laughs> A 
which means um, you're up, Oracle. And last we saw you, you were upstairs. He talking with Dr. Ra. Yes. Who? You were talking with her no, specifically, but me. there is still the cloaked man up here. And what's your passive perception? My passive? Yeah. It is my sheep below. It is a uh, 13. That would be enough to let you notice that there is at least someone out on the balcony out here. Oh, cool. But that's, uh, that's actually where I was heading. Oh, neat. Um, yeah, so do I, like, notice the, the cloaked individual, like, doing anything suspicious as I'm, like, walking past on the balcony? Well, I can certainly kinda, say, kinda while... Out. While you were talking with Arak, they were walking over towards you two. I do not know the intentions behind that, but they certainly were. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep making my way to the door. Push pull. Ah, uh, whichever. <laughs> Both. <laughs> I will go ahead and step onto the balcony. And you're greeted with a nice cool breeze. And a lovely view of the area. And with you on the balcony, looking over the edge towards the front of the manor, is your good old caster friend, Walpurgis. Oh, wow. Taking a refreshing break from the party, I take it. So he kind of just makes their approach. They look back towards you, a little startled. Um, yes, I don't do well with crowds. Me neither. But an interesting bunch they are. It's quite the view out here. So he kind of just looks around, making light conversation for now. It's not quite what I'm used to. It's peaceful. So, have you known the Count prior to this, or was this the first time meeting them? This is my first. Neither me nor my master were here that long. And what do you make of them? He seems... Actually, hold on, let me roll for her. Let me see what she can tell, if anything. They seem odd, but nothing else. Hmm. It's getting the same feeling. Something's not exactly normal around here but I can't quite put my finger on it yet I guess we'll have to wait and see how the party goes of course uh, right it's a shame we need to stay as long as we do I hope you guys get the information you need soon oh are you heading out early no I I don't like places like this so I feel uncomfortable all the time Fair enough. Well, I hope you find at least some entertainment for tonight. It's always exciting to get into a little trouble from time to time. But I understand it. If you're not one for social gatherings, and well, I hope you enjoy your stay on the balcony then. But you too. I'm gonna walk back inside. Leave her, uh, leave her at peace. Oh, that was awkward. Indeed. Good. It's exactly how I want it to be. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, I don't really have anything else as far as... Cause at this point, as long as there's not a lot of eyes on him, he kind of just wants to snoop around the house. <laughs> so. Let's see. 
In that case, we should just, hold uh, off on that. See if he can move to yeah, let's see if we can find anything out of place. Alrighty. Have you thought of anything? Uh, I'm not really sure who I want to go bother. So... <laughs> That is clearly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be bothering whoever I run into. <laughs> uh, oh, no need to talk to little Purgus. Don't need to talk to the good doctor. Already caught up a little bit with St. Germain. I could talk to the Countess, but I don't know what I would talk about. So I think Hans is just going to go look around. See if there's anything out of place understood where would you like to look um let's see if i go that way i have to walk past the count and i don't want to be around him if i can help it but fair enough given what you just said yeah i really don't want to be near the count like at all Oh, it's a shame that he's in the front entryway in that case. Yes! He's blocking off the <laughs> staircase completely. You can't go outside, you can't go upstairs. Stare at the count. I'll just. I'll just have to suck it up, and I guess I'll make my way upstairs. Alright. Just kind of. Slowly move my token. Yep, yep. Monroe 20. Zoom out so I can see both maps. <laughs> I'm just gonna move my token up to the stairway on the second floor. No, you're good. But as you do walk by the count, he just gives you a look, almost as if silently asking if you're enjoying yourself. I will nod and continue walking. Alright. Welcome upstairs, hey, where you have well. a cloaked individual, a doctor, and an oracle. Has anyone... Uh, just out of character, has anyone interacted with the cloaked individual yet? Nope. Alright, just making sure we're not doubling up on interactions. In fact, that's the only person visible upstairs that Argos did not interact with. Perfect. Indeed. Quite the social person. Another person <laughs> so whose identity remains anonymous. <laughs> so I am quite blatant in my anonymity. Yeah. But no one has ever seen my face, because I don't have a face. Oh yes, two faceless people gonna interact. Indeed. We're gonna look, uh, look at each other, no face to no face. He looks towards you. Up until now, he was just leaning against the balcony, sort of looking down towards where the count is. I'll lean on the railing as well and just take a moment to enjoy a breeze if there is one. Uh, for a little bit while the oracle has the door open to exit. Right. Enjoying the party? Oh yes, it's quite something actually. Lots of interesting fellows here. I must agree, I have met a number of interesting individuals. Yes, both human and servants. Quite an Indeed. interesting group. Typically, this isn't my kind of scene, but when invited, why not? Now, I did happen to notice something. I hope you don't mind my asking, but are you acquainted with the boy you walked in with? Um... Loosely. And that I've only known him for a few days. I see. Then do you know much about him, or no? I know bits and pieces, but nowhere near the full story, but who does? Quite true. He just seems to be quite the individual, that one. Indeed. He certainly made quite the entrance in our first meeting, but making an entrance is half the fun. Oh, I couldn't agree the more, honestly. A grand exit. The only thing better than a marvelous entrance is a dazzling exit. That is quite true. But I don't think he'll be making his exit anytime soon. At least I hope not. 
And what makes you say that? Well, that would mean he would perish. I'd that rather is... not let him do that. That is quite fair. He seems entertaining. I hope his end does not come before it's time. Agreed. I'd like to find some time to talk with him soon. Well, it seems we still have quite a while with this party, so... Take your moment. Of course. Oh, and what about you? What was that? And what about you? What about me? Well, <laughs> what do you hope to gain? Not many people will come to this party will not hope to gain anything. I thought it would be nice to see a party from the front end, I guess. Ah, uh, I think I understand now. Well, at least I won't be stopping you. Well, I'd rather not offend the host. He is certainly quite, he strikes quite the intimidating figure. Oh, don't you worry about him. There's not much he can do at the moment. Not unless something tries to trigger him. Well, I will certainly say that as marvelous as this party is, I will be keeping my fingers to myself. Though I'm sure there might be many a beautiful piece of art here. Today is not the day. I see. That's quite noble of you, I guess. Well, I am a gentleman thief, after all. I must live up to the gentlemanly portion. I am no common rabble, after all. Oh, yes. A gentleman thief talking to a count. What are the odds? I notice I did not quite catch your name. I am Han. Well, it might sound a little confusing right now, since I can't give you my name. But I'm just another Count in the area. Don't mind it. There have been quite a few count Countess. Well, it makes sense. This is where all people like us gather. Indeed. It just so happens that Monte Cristo is the one to always host it. Which that is also an interesting thing between the Count of Monte Cristo and the Caster of Cristo. Oh, you've noticed too. Indeed. I, I think would there say might be more. Definitely slightly confused. Oh no, not confusion. Interest. Well, it certainly caught me unawares, so. I look forward to seeing what else I can learn. There's quite a few people that don't seem to belong here. And that might just be one of them. Well, he certainly seemed interesting enough. Perhaps at first glance. But only time will tell. Indeed. Whether good or bad, you cannot determine a person's true colors until they show it themselves. Very much so. Your worst enemy could end up being your ally, and your closest friends could end up being your enemies. You can never truly know until it's too late. Indeed. Well... I hope to learn much more from this party. And I'm sure you will. I don't really have much else to say and I have to step away for a minute, so now is the perfect time. Alright, you're up next, Johanna. Also, welcome, Stony. Happy uh, daddy. <laughs> Hi, Stony. Alright, who all is in here? Oh yeah, Michael's all here. Yeah, he's come inside. 
Yep. Ah, there we go. Ah. All right, what to do, what to do. We already had our talk over here. And this would roughly be right after you sat down from talking with Haiti. Mm-hmm, so not much time has passed. <laughs> no. So what do I do? That's the question. Is that just, like, random man? There are more people in the room. I just don't want to have the room filled with tokens. Okay. So I just um... put at least one down. Hmm... Hmm. I don't know what to do. Would you like for someone to come to you then? Sure, why not? And let's see who it is. That makes life easier for me. The child does not know who to go speak to. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Don't I swear me. it's not on purpose, Joey. It's him, isn't it? I knew it! I will try to keep my my anger back. <laughs> keep your bloodlust in check. Yes, keep my bloodlust <laughs> in check. Excuse me, ladies. Man. Hello? Oh. Uh, evening. I couldn't help but notice you two over here and thought I should see how you're doing. Oh, uh, my name is Lev. Lev Yuval. In case either of you haven't met me yet, or heard of me. Dorothea Coyette. Uh, a pleasure. As Dorothea stands yep. up and does a little bow. I will mimic her and do Johanna out. Nice to meet you. Oh, now that's quite the name. Not one I've heard in a while. You know... How are you connected to that man? Oh, if you don't mind well, me asking, that is. He's... complicated. She just puts her head down. Really? More complicated than just being... I don't know, siblings parent and child, uncle and, and, and niece. He's supposed to be my dad, but something happened to him, and now he's very much changed. What do you mean by that? Are you, are you aware of what servants are? I have a vague understanding, but not much. He has become one. Oh, now that's strange. Human. Yes, and his memories are not completely there. See, now that could line up with what I know. Since servants are summoned in there, I suppose the word is prime, then it could make sense to not remember things that are most recent. Then his personality is also very much changed. That I cannot fully help with understanding. Yeah. I've never actually met that man personally, but I have sent letters to him now and again asking on advice. In fact, it was his idea for me to get started how I am now. Mm. Currently, I'm trying to... I'm not sure why I'm telling you people this, but I don't know. I feel like I, I can trust you. I'm trying to hunt down some monsters at their source, and it's very difficult to find that source. At first I thought they just came and went now and again, but it was your father who suggested that they came from somewhere. Are you referring to the shadow creatures? No. Not those. They're more like... monstrous beings, not things that hide in the shadows. It's hard to actually describe it. Well, there was someone here at the party who assisted me one time in defeating one. So I suppose you could 
ask them. Oh, they looked black haired. They ended up describing your quote unquote father. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hey. The one who's here with you now, yes. But why? Okay. As he said, he's never met him personally. So this version's the only one he's ever seen. Uh. Okay. Alright, I'll talk to him later about that. Oh, you actually know him. That's good. Yeah, that that's my dad. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I might be a little awkward talking to him without realizing it. That's okay. Hmm. Not your fault again. Dear, I was calling him Delphine. Oh, because the Oracle? Yes, I thought it'd be simpler to call him by a name rather than a title. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> no, I can understand that a little bit more. No, but if you do run into any of those monsters, I don't recommend <laughs> fighting them unless you think you can handle it, but at the slightest sign, do try and keep yourself safe from them. Alright. Um can that can does he describe what they look like? In a general sense. Because he's seen multiple versions. Oh, there are multiple versions. Yes. Uh, okay, so if one appears, you will tell me that is what he. That is something similar to what he described. I might have you make a roll to see if you can tell. Okay. But neat. And why is it that you think you're talking to us about this? I don't get why you t decided to walk up to us. Well. Thinking about it in hindsight, maybe it's because I could tell you were his daughter. I'm not sure. Just a feeling. Ooh. That end, there is something strange about this place. Can you feel it? Did I notice anything strange? Ah! Roll me! Either Arcana or Insight. I hope for insight, please. Alright, cool. I have Dorothea roll too, just because. Oh god, her insight is 21. pretty good. 26. I didn't expect her to be that good. We have the same plus. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. There is something off about the. I mean, Johanna, you did just experience time freezing around you to talk to someone, but... That's not yeah, limited that's to just this separate. place. Yes, that 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 tidy. But it did seem strange. Like it felt different when it happened to you this time. You didn't quite think about mm -hmm. it before, since it was only for a brief moment the first time. Mm -hmm. This felt more consuming, to put it simply. Kind of You're not sure whether it, it was like more towards you or her. Or someone else entirely. But there is a consuming present. Only when time was frozen. Only when time. Mm -hmm. Dorothea, on the other hand, can tell that something's off, but unlike you, she can't pinpoint anything. Um, a little earlier, I felt a presence. A like it was consuming, like drawing something. I'm not quite sure how to put it. Lev looks like he's thinking to himself. For now, keep this information to yourself. You don't want the camp to find out about this. I... I'm not saying that he's suspicious, but it is his home. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't look good if anyone was snooping around. Alright. However, it was nice talking to you and meeting you in person. Have a good time. You as. You too. 
All right. Is Sidoni actually here? I am. <gasps> Yay. Yay. In that case, it's your turn. You're up again. Oh. Uh, As you and Grendel have, have left, recently left the meeting room you went in. Yep, yep. As you walk out, now the Count is just standing about in the front hall. And St. Germain has not left that spot. That's his corner. That's why. Despite it not being an actual corner. It's his wall. <laughs> it's his wall. <laughs> he paid top dollar for that specific wall. So where do you wish to go, with or without Grendel? Hmm. Rita, what exactly did you do whenever you were around or somehow dragged into a party? Me? Uh-huh. Uh, the only ones I've ever been to were the ones I interrupted to eat people. Unfortunately, that's not socially acceptable anymore. I know. I, I mean... I get it, but... Look, being a monster is difficult to overcome. I never said there was a problem with that. I just... I think, if anything, if I actually cared enough, I would have responded in a different way rather than just... kind of saying that it's not really allowed. Oh. I still shouldn't, It doesn't though. bother me. No, probably not. I mean, it doesn't bother me not one bit. I'm not a technical living thing. <laughs> I'm a rock. You're right. I haven't been alive long enough to even know what a party technically is, so I... As far as I'm concerned, you could have just told me that that's what part you're supposed to do at a party, and I'd believe you blindly. I mean, I don't know what people are supposed to... I would watch them now and again, but all they would do is drink, get drunk... Eat, be weird, shirtless men. It sounds kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. This is very different. Ah, uh, well, I don't think I've seen a singular shirtless person yet, so I think we're on a good route. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Unless you count the oracle. <laughs> Which yeah, I was about to say before you typed that message, Argos. He, he's technically not shirtless. He has something on his shoulders. Yeah, he has clothing on. Just not a he's shirt. A, he's open-chested. <laughs> That's it. Yes. There is no back being shown, therefore he is not shirtless. <laughs> he's bare-chested. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't know what to do that. In theory, we could wait outside. You could go outside. That is allowed. If it wasn't obvious Another... from Zack and Elia. <laughs> no, no, it's not allowed. Ah, oh, they're the special case. They're children. Which I guess Grendel would also look like. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> and I mean, you're, you're not a person. You can't be an adult or a child. Exactly. Uh, but honestly, all I can think about is I can just take a random occurrence. Okie dokie! <laughs> Okie dokie! No, Misty, these are my chicken wings. And as you're talking with Grendel, a woman walks down the steps. Oh, I'm zoomed out by 100%. No wonder I couldn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, do you mean that weird brownish pixel? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess it does look like that if you zoom down that much. Yes, that brown pixel, aka woman. Whatever she wants to call herself. Walks over towards you and Grendel. Good evening. Oh, 
hi. Grendel immediately turns around and gets to a fighting post, shocked by human. Now, now, don't be alarmed. I just want to have a nice little chat. You know, mingle. That's what people do. Is it? Surprisingly, yes. Unless you're rec recluse to which you just kind of talk to yourself. Cough, Walpurgis, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're here for that, Taz. I heard bits and pieces. <laughs> yes, so I've already talked to some of the people upstairs. Decided to, you know, come down, see who's down here. I did get here kind of early, so I haven't seen everyone besides, you know, looking down from above, see who was here, who wasn't. Familiar faces, unfamiliar faces. Like you two. You are both separate, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet you both. I am Dr. Arak, a doctor who happens to live on the coast of Calamity, not by choice. It's not where I prefer to have my office, but eh, whatever. Isn't that place uh -huh. dangerous? Very much so. Good for business, not good for my own health and safety. Well, at least you know business is perpetually booming. And that's if they survive long enough to get to me. Yeah. And on that note, if either of you two ever need some medical assistance, please feel free to visit me. How would I need medical assistance? At, uh, well, I suppose if you crack. I mean, I guess, but I don't... Is that how that works? I I, have I've helped more than just humans in my life. Humans, servants, demons, you name it. Uh, I mean, okay. I guess that makes sense. Uh, uh, but you introduced your name. Uh, I almost forgot mine for like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I have no I, name. I have no name. I am Stony. I don't have a last name. I am Grendel, daughter of Grendel's mother. <laughs> that is their name! That's their name! And I hate it, I still hate that to this day! I mean, to be fair, I don't think she's gonna give out her name to a man who just killed her son. <laughs> I mean, not only that, the Grendel was killed easily. The real threat was their mother, and they don't get a name. Grendel was a baby. <laughs> who was just huge. <laughs> just a monster. Okay, so if I had to guess, you're a servant, pointing to Grendel, and you are... Oh, well, certainly not human, I know that, but... I don't know if I've met something like you before. Maybe a golem. Probably walk past like a hundred of them. A hundred of you or a hundred golems? Uh, what I technically am being a gargoyle. Ah, I see. In that case, yes, I have seen quite a few of you, but not all of them were alive like you. I would say that makes me special, but you just said all, not all of them, meaning that there was at least the one. Well, yes, but it wasn't close by here. It was before I moved. Hmm. There were quite a few interesting people there. I was not a big fan of them, though. Oh, were they not the nicest? Or were they... Well, how, it, I guess. It, you could say it was a monarchy, but it was more like a dictatorship. And I had to work closely um. with those people. I have no clue what any of that means. Monarchy, a king, someone who rules over people. A dictatorship, someone who rules with an iron fist and doesn't let people do whatever they want. Okay. Sorry, I might be venting a little bit. Oh no, no, I couldn't. I couldn't tell what the tone of your voice. You sounded like you were just talking. Good. And then there's some people who just decide to get in your way. 
And those are the worst kinds of people. Even worse than those who let you strictly do certain things. Freedom is nice. It is nice. So when people try and stop you from doing what you want, you don't tend to like them. I haven't had that happen yet, but I don't think I would prefer it. So I will just agree. Good. I do hope that you don't have to go through what I did at some point. Agreed. Speaking of Grindel, are you technically free? I... Yes? No? I'm with you and the others. I mean... Uh, I guess my point is I... You chose to? Unless you didn't, to which... I don't think really many of us can actually force you to do anything. You're stronger than most of the people here. She looks proud. You're right, I am the strongest berserker. Oh god, why did I say that alone? Thanks, Tony. Now I feel like I can take on a hundred Beowulfs. Please don't get yourself killed. I would have to do my whole entire thing all over again. <laughs> No, I'm not going to be That'd stupid be so... about it. I may be, be the strongest, so... but I still have to be smart to beat him. And that's my problem. Yeah. <laughs> have you tried reading a book? I don't know how. They have, they have this weird stuff on them. I don't know what it means. Words? Is that what they're called? Yeah. It feels so weird being on the the receiving <laughs> end of this. All I ever had to do was hear people screaming or talk to my mother. So you're gonna learn how to read soon. That will be fun. Oh, cool! It right. won't be. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop a little bit, but we were talking, so... What is this thing that you would have to redo if you lose this person? Uh, supposedly my entire purpose is to give a specific person power. And then just kind of help them with whatever it is they need to do. I but see. So if they die fighting a person they want to fight, you will have failed. Not technically. I can do it all over again, but only a certain amount of times before, like, I don't know, the world ends. But that just depends. I have no clue if the world would, if me doing this would actually prevent the world from ending or not. Who can really say? In, Maybe the world's destined to end regardless. Yeah. That's dim. <laughs> Well, you want to know how to keep it from doing that, then? Which Not one dying. <laughs> Are you saying this to Grendel? Yes. Wait, so to save the world, I have to be alive? Grendel, what, is, what, is, what can a dead body do? I mean, someone else can use it as a weapon. Yeah, but what on its own can a dead body do? Rot. Okay, yeah. That's good. When something is rotting, what happens to it? Can it just get up and get over it on its own? Uh, sometimes. I said, oh, God dang it, you're not technically wrong. No, if you're dead. That's <laughs> <laughs> the whole purpose. My God, point. you just get up, you get better. <laughs> you just walk it off. I swear if you die, I'll kill you again. <laughs> I will find a way to bring you back somewhere. <laughs> you are right, it's not fun being dead. No, it's not. No, it's very painful. I wouldn't know. <laughs> well, take it from me then. 
I meant to feel right. it. Oh, crap. I can't tell Grindel to write this down. You don't know how to write. Ah, uh -huh. No. <laughs> But that is a note to self. Don't die. Dying hurts. Got it. So wait, no, I already died before. You're right, it's painful. But I don't want to yes. do it again. Preferably, I'd rather you not die. Got it. It'd be a, bit, it'd be a very big waste of time on my end, and too, I'd kind of be upset. Aw, oh, you do care. I don't know where the energy goes when you die. <laughs> I'm oh, not admitting you, you do kind of care. <laughs> yep, there's no way I can make it seem like I don't. <laughs> <sighs> well, in that case, I'm gonna go continue mingling. You two enjoy the party. As my token opens up, and I need to exit out of that. It takes two st steps forward. Oh no, I'm buffering. <laughs> oh no. Huh, meeting people slightly interesting. Specifically when I'm with you. <gasps> you're welcome. It's mostly because your reaction is funny. Your first thought was to attack. I, I, I don't know, it's just something about them. Ah! Uh, they snuck I'm up not... on me. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Meanwhile, it was them announcing their presence behind you. They really did, though. <laughs> <laughs> but is that with the sign to move on back to the Oracle? Yep, yep. Hey, Oracle, you wanted to do some snooping? No snooping. Yes. Was that just you, or did you want to get others? Um, I am under the impression that everybody is kind of mingling right now. As um, you see Hans right here. So yeah. So, like, while he's distracting that cloak guy and <laughs> Doctor walk out, I'm going to take my time to go through the upstairs. Understood. <clears throat> Please roll me an investigation. Or is this the first oh. room you're walking into? Um, it wasn't originally. Um, I was going to head straight for these double doors. That is a painting. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to go back to this door. I look like a door at 30 off. Uh, in order oh, to get to where you wanted to go, you would have to go up and then through. Well, conveniently enough, I would have made my way after this door if anything, you know, doesn't happen or happens. You open the door and that is a bathroom. Investigation. All right. Let's keep moving. Pretty clean, though. Is it investigation? Yes. Okay. 14. All right, all right. Give me one second as you walk in the door. Where am I looking? There it is. As you hear sounds coming from up the stairs in this area, what do you do? I'm gonna make my way for that door as quick as I can. All right. <clears throat> Roll me a stealth real quick. Bed. Got it. As you do get through the door, but you accidentally slam it shut on your way through. Someone may or may not know you're in here now, but you don't even know who. Taking a quick glance, I imagine this is probably going to be the first door that I see. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to beeline it for that door. Okay. And see what happens. Quick, find a box. <laughs> oh boy. Well, this, this is going to be something. So, you 
you try and get through that door? Um, I'm sorry? You try and get through that door? Yeah. yeah Make me a sleight of hand. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you notice that the door was locked, so you just decide... Screw it, we're opening the door. It opens anyway. And you find yourself on a balcony looking above the floor below you. So everything you see on the map below is exactly what you see on yours. Oh my god. So like right here you can see Johanna and Dorothea. This is Countess Karnstein, Michael, etc. So upon realizing that I can see people... I'm going to just kind of... However, another thing you've noticed. This is the only door in and out of this place. Yeah, I think upon, like, seeing that it goes to the lower floor, I think I'm just gonna rescind back into into this room. Um, and just, just stand there, looking around. Oh, well, when you do come back in... You are semi-greeted, a.k.a. someone also opening the other door and entering. And you recognize them! Th uh, they're the one who assisted slash did the most of the work in that fight you had. I do remember. What are you doing here? Just looking around, uh... Seems to have gotten lost trying to find the restroom. <laughs> Roll deception. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. In that case, I will lead you there. Follow. Oh, much appreciated. Say, I wasn't expecting to find you at the party. Nor was I expecting to see you. This is where you people go to loose your excrements. Ah, of course. Well, it was a pleasure seeing you again, and, well, I look forward to our mingling in the night. Do be careful, though. The area where you were about to go is semi-off-limits. I will keep that noted for the future. Thank you. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I have to be a little bit more discreet next time. Off-limits, Count. What are you hiding? Only semi-off-limits. You know, there is one thing that can be considered off limits. His bedroom. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm no, hiding I'm, a grand secret. Say, it's called a four poster bed. <laughs> My grand secret's where I sleep. Yeah. Maybe a desk or something. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to just kind of like wait and pace back and forth. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty much done until. Uh, you know what? I, I guess just... I lose sight of the individual. I still didn't get their name. <laughs> no, you haven't. No one has. <laughs> you know, just because. Johanna, roll me a perception. Did you, you Did you notice your dad up there? <laughs> I'll roll. <laughs> if you like my well, passive, it's all... Uh, no, I did not. You rolled a... Wait, what's his stealth? Technically, it was a 10. Uh, it was a 10. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, my passive would also have noticed it. <laughs> yeah, just as you were yeah, talking, dude. as Lev was walking away, you just happened to see your dad on the balcony above. Yeah, so, like, I, I walk out onto the balcony <laughs> upon realizing I see people. I start to, like, just kind of back up, back through the door. <laughs> this is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh. He's not that far away from me, right? Uh... Uh, in terms of feet away, no. In terms of height, that's like a good 40 feet. Uh, let me check how far this works. 40? No, 20. Sorry. 
Uh, I got 120. <laughs> Fine, Just sure, it doesn't matter. Message, what, what, why? Cool, so as you're backing out and then running into them... <laughs> Oracle, you would have just heard in your head in your in your daughter's voice, why? As he was talking to the individual, he kind of just like has this look of confusion as he looks off somewhere else, and then like engages back in the conversation. It's like, where did that voice come from? But anyway, Hans, yes. you're up again. I know, and I'm trying to think of who else to interact with. This is the last round, by the way, I will say to all of you before we move Good, on. Good, because I'm going to struggle enough to come up with one response. <laughs> if you really want, if you want no interaction, I can technically skip you. Please. Understood. Johanna. I'm good. Stony. I swear if you say you're good. You're allowed to, by the way, but you are muted. Mm -hmm. Tess? I don't think they were expecting it to go by this fast. Tess? Alright, they're good! <laughs> I don't know. How are you all enjoying the party? It's just gonna be interesting. Mysterious. I don't trust it. <laughs> you don't yeah, trust yeah. his bedroom. Says the There's... person creeping through the house. <laughs> <laughs> they have ulterior motives. I know it. Well, maybe. Uh, oh, oh hi. God, sorry. <laughs> Welcome back. It's your turn unless you want to be skipped. Uh, I'll take my turn. Sorry, I was dealing with something. Nah, you're I good. You, you're, you're the last one before we stop ro rotating turn order for this. Fair enough. Uh, random encounter? Ah, encounter? <laughs> <laughs> Putting me do making me do all the okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 that is the DM's job. Taz. Yeah. yeah. Aka Stony. Uh huh. Make me a wisdom save. God dang it. Oh wait, I'm a monk. It shouldn't be too bad. I <laughs> save her. Those saves. Huh. Monk's not proficient in wisdom save. Oh, that's not what I was referring to. They're a monk, therefore they have what? some wisdom. No, I have nice. to my wisdom, and that's my that's my non worry. Ah, I see. Almost a nat twenty. Almost a nat twenty. Hey, Stony. Uh huh. Grendel, stop moving. The oh, hell! Stop again. In fact, almost everyone has stopped moving. By which I mean, everyone who was around you, but someone new is walking up. <laughs> you're I just looking. <laughs> no, you're, fr you're frozen too. Oh yeah. darn! I'm frozen again. Yeah. I kind of I do that. Like, oh wait. shit! I'm gonna wait here now. <laughs> Waving it. Grindle's eyes, like, oh god. Am I dead again? Or non -live? Nope, don't know what that means. As this pretty woman walks up from the entrance and looks around. Oh, now it's an orange pixel. Why do okay. I keep zooming out? Why are you so zoomed out? I was trying to see if there was actually a bathroom on the map. But yeah, it's, it's where the oracle is. Yeah, I know that now, but I did that before. <laughs> oh. Uh, did you do this? Hmm? Oh, wait, you're not- you're affected. Or not affected. Whichever way you uh, really want to look at it. 
I move, no one else move. Yes. Well, to put it simply, you can see me. Yeah. I, yeah, I can see that. Most people can't. Why? That's a bit complicated to get into. It's not quite a curse. But it's also because of what I, what I can see. Uh -huh. In other words, typically I am the only one who can see her. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that he was standing completely still until just now. <laughs> you need to warn somebody if you can move when everyone else can. <laughs> It, helps to, me it helps to stay in place so that I am where I was when it resumes. Uh huh. God, I, I understand why people don't like when I just start moving when I'm staying still for long periods of time. It's very uncomfortable. You do look like a statue. A nice one. I of that. am. I enjoy that compliment. What does that make this? Three people who can move around you now? Yes, and they're all gathered in one place. It's very uncommon. I wonder if it means something. I doubt Wait. it. Three. You are Is one, that... and I'm not including uh -huh. myself. Because I'm oh. a constant. I mean, that makes sense, I suppose. Yes, a young master and a girl. Ah, okay. They were quite the people, but I'm not sure I have high hopes for them. Come now, don't say that. They need to win if they're going to live. And you were the one who was saying you were against them. Yes, but they are not against us, so you do not need to worry about them. I still do not know if I fully agree with that. I uh, can technically understand that sentiment, though. Ah, uh, yes, but I have not properly introduced myself to you. I am the Count of Monte Cristo. It is nice to meet you, tiny creature. I am Stony. Just Stony. And I'm technically a gargoyle. Then do you mind if I call you Stony the Gargoyle? No. I'm fine with this. God, I keep wanting to speak up as Grendel, but I can't. <laughs> Grendel's currently a statue. <laughs> Grendel's the statue now! Now, do you know if there's anything special about you? I still can't quite tell why certain people here are able to perceive me. Part of me wants to say probably because I'm a living gargoyle, but I think the real reason might actually be because I was made by... So, a, a witch. One of the three witches. Am I correct in assuming that? Hmm. I assume, but it's more... I don't know if she... Would the fog witch even count as that? She is one of them, yes. Then yes. I You're kind of quite... assumed that that might be the reason. You're being quite loose with your information now. You wouldn't tell them anything before. Like I said, I don't have high hopes. This one is just a statue, a gargoyle. The information I'd tell it will not matter. Well, you might be surprised by that later on. I mean, considering I've only been a, well, conscious. Nope, that doesn't count either. A technical alive for a certain <laughs> period of time. I still remember everything I've quote, seen when I wasn't. Gargoyles are made with a purpose. 
whether it works or not is kind of up to the people that make them. Indeed. In that case, you are very similar to... I don't want to say myself specifically, but my group. We were each contracted with for a specific pur purpose. And mine is to watch over that young master and watch his first steps. Okay. Some of the others are made to impede him, others not. The one thing we have in common. Sense. The one thing we all have in common, though, is that we are all his enemy. But enemy is a very loose term, because enemy could be just some simply someone that is doing something to your disbenefit, whether it actually affects you or not, is up to debate. Correct. At least in my eyes, I wouldn't consider myself his real enemy. But it does fit, since my goals are very similar to that of my master's, and my master is most certainly against that one. Well, considering he has someone watching over him and his progress, it, I can assume. Oh, don't worry about that. My master is also watching him. Not constantly, but enough to make sure I'm doing my own job. Even though I'm fully yeah. aware that he does trust me to do it myself. It's just you his personality. Ah, so my statement is technically correct. You can never be too sure. It's just, ah, uh, just in case. No, it's, it actually has nothing to do with me. If things get too interesting, he might want to intervene himself. That is all. Ah. It's pretty relatively unnerving, but, I mean, can't understand. It is unlikely that anything here is really going to invite him until the very end, though. But you do never know. Yeah. I, I do have this... a... No, never mind, you speak. I have a question, though. Speak. At least specifically to the Count. Okay, never mind. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> Why exactly do you have no faith in the two? From what I can tell of them, one is but a normal human girl, even if they are the daughter of someone I know, and the other is just unwilling to learn from what I can t see of them. Not unwilling. He has yet to understand his purpose. I can't tell the difference. If he's not able to achieve anything immediately, then he won't survive long enough to do so in the end. That's how I view him. It's a pretty out there view. It's not wrong, but it's also not technically fully correct. I have also met Hades' master myself. I'm not fond of him, but I can certainly see the difference in power between the two. If they were to ever clash, that boy will never stand a chance. Well, if that does end up being the case, then that's pretty unfortunate. Indeed. But we You'll have a pretty long road till that happens. Maybe something will happen. It, hell, maybe they'll die before they even make it there. <laughs> I'm not so certain about that. But all I can it's really more... say is that you have your mm -hmm. purpose, and he has his. Yep. And me saying that isn't more being demeaning towards them, it's more something could happen that could cause a change or shift in how they act. Even if it's a little bit. However, a battle between a mortal and a god will never change. You'd be surprised. I agree. Then I will hold my tongue on that for now. If you both think there's some potential there, 
I would at least wait and see. I mean, in all honesty, I could care less, but I mean, I can fight both sides, technically. Or at least both sides of the argument. I was about to say, you're gonna fight both sides? <laughs> no, I mean of the <laughs> argument of, ah, oh, they could make it, and oh, no, they can't make it, because yeah. technically, like I said, you could die before we even get there. <laughs> uh-huh. It's just, quite literally, anything's possible. The plausibility doesn't make it impossible. Suppose you are right, to some degree. And with that, he goes back in place. And Grendel's moving again! You know, Grindel, you'd make a really good statue. What? Where'd that come from? I don't know, just had a random thought cross my mind. Okay! <laughs> and so, as the party continues, eventually, people come into the room that Johanna is currently in and start moving the tables away. As they are getting ready for a ball. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The hiccups, please, help. Why are you asking hic hiccups for help? Separate. I know. <laughs> I make it. I was gonna say, don't summon the hiccups. <laughs> I need help from the hiccups. I'm just going to move you into the corner. You don't matter. But eventually, people begin gathering. Anyone who wishes to be involved in the ball, please enter the now ballroom. I guess. Why not? Oh, you're already here. Yeah, I know. I'm already here. Like, What's happening? Oh, God. Eh. Grab. Oh well, uh, Grendel, I, you can't move, so I move. Uh huh. The Count of Saint Germain. He's the Count. The and you're just gonna have an observer. Don't mind him. He's not getting involved though. As the other Count is just on the balcony above. Now, first, I would like to thank everyone for coming th this evening. You're too close. And second, for those who have never been here before, please enjoy yourselves as you may dance with whoever you please. Or, you may continue mingling amongst yourselves. That bar there, where all of you actually are, except for the Oracle now, he's left. We'll have refreshments and snacks for you to eat as you wish. Otherwise, the floor is for all of you now. I have some personal matters, matters to take care of, so please enjoy yourself. And so, the floor is technically open to all of you. Uh-huh. Either grab a partner and dance, or don't. Aww, uh, who would... Who would Hans try to dance? I will leave no the NPCs picking until all of you do. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm gonna roll something right quick, <laughs> just to see how ballsy Hans is. Uh-huh. Hey, are you pretty ballsy? Yep. <laughs> That's what I thought you were supposed to <laughs> That's what I thought too, honestly. Just seeing how ballsy he was going to be. 
Ah, uh, yes, the correct answer. A thief dancing with a countess. <laughs> You've already talked to one count, why not another? So how do you approach them? I don't know. <laughs> I would like to point out that in person I have a charisma score of seven. Ah, <laughs> uh, congrats. How's Hans going to pull this off? I don't know. <laughs> well, figure it out. Figure it out. Now 20 is not 20. While you figure that out, others. Yes, please. Figure that out while I try to figure out what the hell to say. <laughs> We're expecting a net 20. No, I really wasn't. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> Who do I... Uh... I have a higher quality mic, so I have higher quality terrorizing skills now. <laughs> you do? There seems to be part you know, of I'm the... Gonna, I'm going gonna to see what happens. I'll ask Zach. <laughs> what did I half expect that or Oracle when you said that? Uh, I, had, I had three in my mind. I was either going to ask Oracle, Dorothea, or Zach. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's go with Zach. I half expected Oracle to go ask just as another way of bothering <laughs> No. Part of the reason why I went, okay, fuck it. Ask Zach before something happens. Ask Zach before someone else does. The only other person I would have asked isn't here. The witch? No. <laughs> Ren. Aw, you're right. Ren's not- you don't have a small buddy. I don't have a small buddy. That, that was a stupid Ren. That's you don't have a small buddy to ballroom dance on oh. the roulette spinners together. Yeah. Oh, you're right. They're not- I can't even bring one here. No. Oh, no, Oracle, summon your swarm of spiders. No. <laughs> don't really, please. I don't think I want that. <laughs> spiders are good enough as they are. I don't want a pile of them. So, if a spider can dance better than me, I think I'd be more terrified of that than it killing me. But, Johanna, how do you ask Zach, or do you need a minute for that? No, I just walk up, do the put, you know, like the hands behind the back and just kind of go Zach, you wanna dance with me? Let me charisma. Poor boy doesn't stand a chance. Huh? I don't know, I'm not that great. Well, no, actually, am, am I good what, at What charisma are you good at? Um, let me look. I don't so, know if I'm actually putting in any charisma skills. I have a plus one in charisma. Oh, I also love how I made that roll without a bonus from any of my charisma I have, skills. I am not proficient in any charisma skills. All right, roll me charisma. Just charisma? Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it doesn't matter. 14? Oh, hey, better than him. 17 if you're if, if cute, adorable girl. <laughs> Well, even if, even if both of you had advantage, you're good. Uh, sure. He takes your hand. There we go. The first pair has been made! That leaves Oracle, not, I was about to say Grendel, Stony, and Hans to speak. I was gonna jokingly say, oh, is Grendel gonna ask me? <laughs> no, I, I just looked at where you were and saw Grendel's name first. Oh, yeah, mine is kind of on her neck. I don't know. I'm a pixel on the screen. It doesn't matter how far I zoom in. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, if you zoom out, you really can't see you. But no, I see you... my name. I have an idea of what I'll say. It's nothing Chi Chi fancy. Yeah. But, like, I, I can wait till Tazzy goes if you want. Sure. You know what, stuff it. Uh, if I could say the name right, that'd be nice. Yeah. Dorothea. Ah, yes, the person you've never met. Exactly. <laughs> I don't have to have a good. I don't. I will never see them again after this, supposedly. <laughs> as far as you know. As you far as I know. Until I can see her name. 
you don't know that they're a friend of Johanna's. Exactly. <laughs> so how do you ask? Uh, Hans will give a small bow and like the flourish of a hat. Madam Karnstein, might I ask for a dance on this fine evening? Roll me charisma. <laughs> That's the whole reason why I rolled the nat 20. I know, I know, I just need to see. What is this for? Like, the, all right, screw it. The only charisma skill I'm really good at is performance. That works. We're gonna rely on that. Same number. 26 is fine. You know what? You wanna know something? What? To pair with your earlier nat 20, she happened to roll a nat 20. Oh wow. <laughs> that is perfect. I don't see why not. As she gives you her hand. Lead her out onto the dance floor. Pair number two and a half, because I don't know what the hell Stoney's gonna say to Dorothea. <laughs> Ironically, the only person on my screen, she's the only other person on my screen other than uh, Ilya. On your screen? I'm zoomed in. I could only see the people that were at the table. There's a lot of people. I said from what I am zoomed in, I am very, very closely <laughs> zoomed in. Fine, fine. So what do you say to her? Uh, hi, if you don't end up having a partner, could I potentially dance with you? I was not expecting you to be asking someone to dance, but this will be interesting. Sure. No roll required. I'm moving you to this side. I was just joking with him, that's how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I even had Hans roll the game was I just wanted to see if they got another nat 20. Honestly. That was it. But the fact that I rolled the same number... <laughs> yeah. I just had a higher bonus. Oracle, you're last. Oracle's just gonna stand here. He's not exactly sure what they're doing. Oh, so you're not going to get a partner? Not... Yeah, he's not going to pick anybody. He's he's waiting to see what they're doing. Trying to figure out what this dancing is. You know... <laughs> God damn, you know what dancing is! <laughs> and, like kids, Grendel and Elia. Being called, give me one moment. Okay. Right. Meanwhile, the caster of Christo is going to leave. The Saint Germain is going to stay on the side, not really doing that much. I can zoom in a little bit on the map. Yeah, that's better. Lev is going to also just well, actually, no. They will get a partner, but they don't exist. By which I mean, it's just a nameless NPC. And Michael is also going to leave. Dr. Arak stays closer-ish to you, but also still off to the side. I have been done! Welcome back. So, what do you think, Oracle? The people have begun mm -hmm. dancing. It seems like we are the only two left. Ah, uh, St. Germain's so over there. Well, at least <laughs> close by. I suppose that imposes the question. Care to dance this evening? Oh, you never actually asked me that before. Sure, why not? First for everything, I suppose. As he will extend his hand out. And she will take it. And thus the last pair was formed. Everyone roll me performance! 
Oh boy. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna guide myself on this one. Wee. Oh no, Zach. Yep, that's oh, God, what I, I was waiting for. Ah, for. yeah, I see how your pair is. Wow. Another nat 20. <laughs> God damn it, Hans. Hans! Hans, I can't tell if you actually like this one or you're trying to steal from her. I am filled with suave and a roguish <laughs> grace. But sadly, no roguish grin. Oh, by the way, I want to mention something specifically for the Elia Grendel pair. Yeah. While Elia's for some reason GM'd, alright. As they are dancing, you can all feel some energy coming off of Grendel as her appearance begins to change. Her school attire changes to that of a ballroom gown, and her hair looks Ooh. much more done up. Fancy. But yeah, if I can sweep up even the most well-guarded treasure, why can I not sweep this treasure off of their feet? Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, anyone else I need to roll? That one bites. <laughs> that just uh, adds to the challenge. I'm not rolling for left. That doesn't really matter. However, I do need... I'm scared if any kind of combat breaks out because the amount of luck I've just expended. All right, so, Johanna, you've never danced before. Somehow it seems like Zack is actually the one leading, even though he also has no idea what he's doing. Eh. <laughs> but together, you look like a semi-competent childish duo. Of course. Somehow doing worse than Elia and Grendel. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> so, Donnie! You, and which one is Dorothea? You being small makes it so much easier for Dorothea to just more so do what she wants with her dancing while also working alongside with you to make it look quite nice, pleasing on the eyes. Yay. Hans. You are just leading Countess Carnesine right into a tango. <laughs> Miraculous dancing from you. Where's the oracle? Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, like father, like daughter. <sighs> Meanwhile... Oh, no, your pair just, in general, neither of you can dance. Neither you, Oracle, nor Dr. Arak are all that great at dancing. Quite, indeed, catching the eye of St. Germain, just watching that happen. Holding back his own laughter. See why we never danced Like watching a train oh. wreck in slow motion. <laughs> Very much so. You're somehow doing the Macarena and the robot at the same time. You have somehow gotten worse after all these years. Are you sure you're the same person? Hmm. Memory's a little foggy. I haven't been to a party in quite some time. Right, right. We should uh, probably figure out which one of us is going to lead. Well, you certainly don't know what you're doing. Meanwhile, we're both stepping over each other's toes. <laughs> you put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. Just Zach trying to figure out I what he's doing. Thought they are both I mean, wait, to leave, if we're and that's what's <laughs> wrecking this. Maybe we'd be helping each other if that's the case. On a performance? If no. No, not you especially not you two. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine me and Zach are just moving very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's not good, but it's not bad like the grown ups. It's not like we're trying to it's not like we're trying to be like, okay, we can do this. It's just like, no. Hey, we put one, two, three, what? We're counting it out. <laughs> and then there's the masters over here. But after some time, both in swapping around partners now and again, and just enough time passing, anything you would like to do before the night actually ends... Not really. Understood. 
I'll take your silence from everyone else as in not really too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Got it. In which case. Upstairs as well, which I cannot have a good place for because of the way the map is. You are all led to rooms to stay for the night. And the next day shall be arriving in that case. Tab's just gonna be moving people around, don't you worry. Okay, bye Oracle. Actually, you know what? No, it's fine. People can still be in this room. This can be where people still gather. But I will still be moving some around. Don't worry, don't, don't worry about it. Alrighty. It's just gonna take a little bit for me to actually do that. Alright. Yeah, I'm both impressed and scared by my high rolls. <laughs> oh no, what's gonna happen when you actually have to go into combat? Exactly. I burned all my luck on three incredibly high rolls. <laughs> Two of them being that 20s! Exactly. Now, I do any of you mind being in the same room, or would you be elsewhere in the morning? No, we can be in the same room. Got it. Yeah, I don't mind. At the very least, helps me out, but that's not necessary. I just need to get some things. Uh, uh. And walking into the still technically the ballroom at the moment is the Count, dressed in a slightly different attire. And that same girl some of you have met and never even heard the name of. Indeed. Zooming in on her. I... <laughs> Do you want me to just... So she's got a different outfit this time. Yeah. She's actually and dressed. she's still super cute. I, I yeah. Mean, yeah, she is. Good morning, everyone. Or at least those of you who are already here. I hope the knight treated you well. Indeed it did. Now, I hate to be the one to say this. However, I do not take kindly to people not accepting my hospitality. Indeed, those who throw it away, I do not accept at all. And seeing how the culprit is still here, if you come clean immediately, the punishment will be less severe. Well. Oh dear, what has happened now? Also, just want to point this out just because. At his okay. side on this outfit, he is equipped with a sword. Oh boy. Who's not accepting the hospitality? I'm just kidding. Shibata's looking around like, what the hell's going on? What do you mean? Zack also looks very confused. Of course, not is everyone he is looking in this room. He is looking around at all of you. But of course, not everyone is in the room right now, so it's hard to really tell. Yes, I might inquire what's happened. Repeat that. If I might inquire, what is it that has happened? Well, sometime last night, something was stolen from me. In one of my private quarters. Indeed, quite the precious item it was. Oh, 
Dealing Meanwhile, from the host. Now that is just in poor taste. Meanwhile, Saint Germain leads back in his chair. So what you're thinking is that it's one of us who wanted to abuse your party. I see no one else it could be. No one else has access oh. to my manor other than those I invite. And this time there are more guests than there were invitations. That certainly is quite the conundrum. And while I am not going to immediately suspect those who do not come with instant invitations, I must admit you are higher on my list. Zack looks a little afraid. I suppose that is reasonable. Well, your heart is right next to him, so might as well just hold on to his arm. Aww. <laughs> Therefore, I will ask again, and I have been going around the manor doing this as well, if the culprit would like to speak up, their punishment will not be death. Beep. I, think my dinner I would is like to try to in maybe insight check to see if anyone in the room is acting sketchy. Understood. If anyone else would like to do that too, go ahead. All right. There goes the luck. <laughs> oh, man, you blew it all that charisma. Oh, man, you blew it all that charisma. <laughs> but you didn't even roll, Stoney. In fact, I think you two might be the only ones here right now, because I don't know if Argos got back yet. Unfortunately, I can't even say that Zack can roll because of just how he's acting right now. But, you know, I can do it for the count. Oh, wow, you don't have insight. You have everything but insight, it seems. And he rolled just as good as you two! Uh, uh, hold on, there's one more person I can roll for. I have your sheet open? Oh, so I do. Meanwhile, the girl who has been semi by the Count's side pulls out a dagger and points it towards Zack. Uh... Indeed. You do not have an invitation. You were merely here on a whim of others. Not only that, you can see things you truly shouldn't. If there's any one person to not trust in that scenario, it would be you. I I, I really d did it. I, I don't even know what was stolen for- can you say what it was? Hello, I am back. Welcome What's back. Happening? Uh. The girl who was next to the Count believes that Zack is the one who stole. Um, um, if you describe the item, I'd be able to use a spell to find it. Oh, wow, Zack was honestly oh, saying God. something very similar. The Hansel chime in, as can I. Unfortunately, I cannot. Is a skill of mine. Unfortunately. If you can give me a general description of it, I can tell you where the nearest of its kind is. I cannot do that. It is not an item that I should allow others to see or even know of. The fact that someone stole it in the first place means that they were aware of it. Hang on. I might have a way to gimmick this. I gotta reread the semantics <laughs> on how the spell is phrased. <laughs> Well, I will be waiting. Alternatively, the spell can locate the nearest object of a particular kind. Huh. Hang on, I have to check what's in my inventory first <laughs> to make sure my own wording doesn't... In Well, I don't have an inventory, so I should be fine then. 
Great. Wait, if you... hang on. Do we still have the invitations, or did we have to, like, hand those over when we arrived? No, technically you still have them. Fuck. Okay, then how is going to phrase it? Oh. <laughs> you not work. to have it. I know, but my phrasing was going to be locate object, uh, an item in the possession of that which, uh, of that who it does not belong. The problem is the nearest of that will be Zack and the invitation. <laughs> oh, you're right. Zack does have the invitation right now. The invitation does not belong to him. And he so... and the Count knows that. I know. <laughs> oh, this Which is really not looking good for him. Um... If you give me a day, I can make it so that way you can cast the spell. That will not work. Give it a day, and most of the people here will be leaving. Mm, why why don't you just right. keep us here until it's found? I could, but that will not leave me in good faith oh, with most God others. You are back. Welcome Oracle, back, Oracle! Uh, Roll in tight. Oracle, the Count believes that Zack has stolen an item from him. Oh my gosh. I fully believe him. Who do you believe? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I would also recommend rolling insight to see if you can see if anyone's acting sketchy. Because no one, not even the Oracle, can roll fucking double digits. Hey, the Oracle can roll it? double digits. Do you want me? Oh, I, mean. I didn't do it. Oh, you're right. Johanna didn't even uh, roll. Yes. Good. Oh. Johanna, do you want to do you want to help the oracle? <laughs> I was gonna roll. You can roll your own if you want. Oh, oh like that is even better. Oh wow. In that case. Okay, he looks younger. <laughs> Sorry, I'm catching up. <laughs> oh yes, he's in a different outfit now in possession of a sword. Oh, okay. So his complexion hasn't really changed. Just no, the it's just his clothing. Oh, gotcha. Picture threw me off. <laughs> no, no, you weren't here when I said that, so that makes sense. At the very least, Johanna, mm -hmm. of the people currently mm -hmm. in the room, because not everyone is here right now, the one who looks the most sketchy besides Zack would be St. Germain, just based off of how calm he is in the situation. Alright, well... Can't we just strip search Zack and prove that he doesn't have it? And to say he didn't put it somewhere else? That is a fair point. Y that is a very fair point you make right there. I can show you to where I stayed for the night. And if you didn't toss it out the window and hit it in the ground or something? Is it something DM. that can be hidden? Yes? All right, first. Uh, Joey, would Johanna have glanced over at St. Germain? Yeah. In that case, DM, while I'm sitting here, I will cast Locate Object with the specification of uh, an object... Uh, in the possession of someone to which it does not belong. Because if St. Germain has something, he is technically closer than Zack. You are correct about that. Well, do you? I do. He is indeed in possession of a thing, at least, that does not belong to him. One side of the mask lifts like a raised eyebrow. Hans <laughs> glances over at St. Germain. Meanwhile, he is still leaning back in his chair, looking towards Zack and the others who are in that area. And Hans will very softly, just while casually sitting here, whisper to St. Germain and just say, Thicky fingers. And then he just wags a finger at you while clicking his tongue. Disc, disc. Well, perhaps you should know more before you ask such things. Oh, I'm not saying it's you. I'm just saying sticky fingers. Uh, I... Let's see. Exactly now, what we... did you lose? What? He, he won't tell us. Something yeah, that I cannot disclose. 
Yeah, and why said what it is. Why was it Zach the one accused? Because the girl who was with the Count pointed a dagger, basically saying, it's him. You know what, I'm a fucking idiot in how I could have phrased it. Why, why do you think it's Zach? The hey, sketchiest yo, one Hana? among all of you. Yo, how Hana? is he sketchy? A very, a very fun phrasing for the object in question. An item stolen from the Count. That is a very good way to phrase it. Well, I can do that. I figured out a way to look for your object without knowing what it is. Oh. I, I say, if I say an item stolen from the cow, it should work. Meanwhile, St. Germain will bring up a point. You do know I'm also a count. Oh, god damn it. Oh, well, wait. It would be ah! saying the count, oh, not you, Can you come count. closer? Can you come closer? I'll whisper this one in your ears. How about you simply say the Count of Monte Cristo? Well, you, I didn't know that was... Did, did he say that? Yeah, he's, he introduced himself to you in, in the courtyard. Oh. oh remember? Well, I didn't know if he was keeping that a secret. I didn't know if he was keeping that a secret. What? No, that's just it's, it's his title. Okay, well, sure. That, that works. There we go. Simple. Simple solution. <laughs> I cast the spell doing that. Aha, aha, aha. Because here's the thing. The invitation was not stolen from the Count. The invitation was stolen from the Witch. So, at yeah. least the invitation won't proc it. That is correct. And, you know, as long as the object is, is, is within a thousand feet, Which I think anyone leaving the manor grounds would have been noticed. Hey, Johanna. Yeah? Roll me a perception. Okie dokie. Perception. 23. 23. Jesus. Well, it's definitely upstairs. And what else is upstairs is that cloaked figure looking down on all of you. Um, well, your object seems to be upstairs. With, is it, like, with the cloak figure? Can't tell. It looks very close, though. It's somewhere next to the cloaked figure. The Count looks up and sees him. And then... Hold on. Let me start changing the music around, because all of you here... Yeah, cause I didn't even think about, you know... I forgot to check the second floor for the balcony. <laughs> uh, which track do I want to play for this? Oh, well, like, my token pace initiative pops up. <laughs> sure I was definitely considering on uh, casting it too and trying to lay me the. All of you right. have this spell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have three different. I don't have spells. <laughs> All of you have it. All the human-shaped players we have this. That is the item we are looking for, but is oh. an item stolen from the Count of Monte Cristo. So oh, I need to edit, not edit. Okay. Sure. Unless this, this that... guy is also just sticky-fingered. <laughs> and almost as if reverberating throughout the entire manor, you all hear a snap of fingers. A snap oh. of fingers. A snap oh, of no. fingers, like someone's snapping their fingers. Okay, the way you made you sound about it sounded like someone was snapping multiple people's fingers. <laughs> All right, crack. Next one, crack. Okay, and I'm preparing to roll initiative for whatever's in immediately about to appear. Oh, nothing does appear immediately. However, you do all notice that the count is acting differently. He looks like he's trying to... Not just him, but him and the girl behind him. The girl looks like she's in a little bit of pain, while the Count looks like he is trying to resist as his body slowly goes to grab his own sword. Oh, no. And it looks like his eyes are filled with anger, and he's still looking directly at Zack. That's not good. 
Not quite, not quite. However, in the in a flash of an eye, Johanna, you don't even see the attack coming. Mm -hmm. However, lucky for you, there is a man who blocks it with their robe and fist. I don't think so. Not now, at least. As he throws the count back a little towards Stony, you might want to move. Interesting that he is the one intercepting the blow. In fact, that blow blows away his cloak, showing who he truly is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Who is this? Ah, oh, yes, you don't recognize it, Joey, because I specifically refuse to show you. Ah, oh, damn, that doesn't make it much bigger. Uh, it's good for me, I can see it. Okay. <laughs> That's the guy from the um the set of threes, right? Yes. Now, what do you think you're doing, Monte Cristo? Or do you have any control of yourself right now? I don't think you do. How, we need to count how many counts are in this room. Uh, if you want to count the countess, that makes four counts. By the four way, counts of counts? Was, was That's anyone, a high count. Was anyone able to see who it was that snapped their fingers? No. Not a single person. Um, question. Is the object still with this man? No. It's still upstairs. Okay, well. Meanwhile, we gotta get the, up count, the count starts laughing, and his body changes as he is enveloped by a dark aura. Kill. Kill! All of you. I will have revenge. Vengeance for I those who took her from me. Um, she's not here right now, Hi Heidi! <laughs> <laughs> and the girl also looks like she is ready for a fight. Oh no. But that's Heidi! Not... No, 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 that's not all. Hang on a second, what? Joey. What? Oh no, not this. How many? How many are you going to throw at Five. Well, five. However, mm -hmm. the four remaining fly out of the manor in all different directions. Why? Well, obviously, they're not going to fight here. Oh, fuck. We need to drop him before they get to whatever they're looking for. Meanwhile, the remaining count, while well, some people are ready for battle here, some are not. Stony isn't here, so I can't say everyone's ready. The count next to Johanna and Zack is going to grab Zack by the back of the shirt and look at him. Okay, boy, let's make this quick. You make a contract with me, and your friends go after the others. You help me take care of the first one. Well, what about I... the object? Wouldn't that fix him? No, don't worry about that. And no, it won't. They're gonna be long gone by now. And their guard is certainly not one to take lightly. Is the object moving? It's no longer within range. But you didn't see it move. <laughs> Shadow bastard. Hey, Oracle. Yes. Make me either a perception or an insight check. Your choice. Ooh. With advantage. I will do, uh... I'll just do insight. It's fun. Twelve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you could be wrong about this since you're indoors, but it looked like one of the copies of the Count is flying towards that village you went to. Before you had met up with the others. Oh, hell. So 
Oh god, I'm mm. gonna go play the count. I'm just. He, oh, I know what to do. Think, why would he be flying towards the village? Well, the one in front of you looks like it doesn't matter who he fights so long as he kills someone. So who knows what the other's mindsets are. Alright, I, I just have to get up high and just start sniping them. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> But we must wait for the Taz. Indeed. But while we wait... Oh, never mind, you're back. I was about to say something, but okay, we can do that first. All hell is breaking loose. When did you, uh, leave? When did you leave? So I can know how much I need to say. It is quite... Uh, I think the last thing I heard was... The Count was first mumbling about... Mer must kill to get revenge taking her ah yes. got it He's so uh into four more yes and those four have flown off in different directions possibly to just oh. kill whoever they see all right meanwhile um, i think you were here for no maybe you weren't here for saying that this count wants to make a contract with zach and fight the one here where did no, the one woman go what? i zoomed in too far what'd you say the one with the one that had been standing there. Where did she go? Oh, they're gone. Cause my plan was that's the one I was gonna go throw hands with. <laughs> so did I see where she went? Just disappeared. Almost like a servant. Huh. But from what you could tell, they definitely weren't a servant, so that's weird. We've got a person in our group that somehow became a servant, so... Weird is as weird does. <laughs> Fair enough. Meanwhile, Saint Germain is gonna just make his presence a little more known. Whether you trust me or not, I'm gonna be taking my leave. If I run into any of these copies, I'll be sure to take care of it for you. As he just nonchalantly walks out. And the remaining count still holding Zack by the back of his shirt. Well, what are all of you waiting for? Go. Go and have my hands full with this one for a while. Alright, up, up, and away. Bye, Zack. Good luck. Do I not really have a choice in this? You do. Doesn't seem you like either stay here and fight, or you make a contract with me and fight. I already have a contract, though. Then make a second. You did say something about you could make too. Okay. All right. Should I assume that you guys are going to grab Grendel and or Elia and or Michael and yeah. or Walpurgis? Which of them, if any? Yes. All, and all, grab them all. Understood. Yeah, if anything else, we can send NPCs in different directions. <laughs> because some people are still going to be going places. But they can be a part of your group if you want. They don't have to be, though. Oh, no, I just meant, good. Just I just meant, send everyone out. Everyone oh. is going. Well, battle. who do you want to go where you go? Um, how, how split up should we be? You have no idea how powerful this person is going to be. Let alone their copies. If it, if it like... means anything, this man thinks that he and Zack can take one alone. Well, either... He is extremely powerful. Or overconfident in Zack's abilities. Or overconfident in his own abilities. Fair enough. Or he's just hoping that Zack being able to tell him to go again is enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, the easiest thing would just say have the, for, for convenience sake, would just say the four of us go after one and then the NPCs go after another. Fair, fair. So that way it's not split up unless they unless all of the counts are still on one map. No, they are well throughout the world right now. How fast are they? Well Fast enough that well, you running we'll after them won't work. Well, I'm flying after them. Sixty foot. I don't think that's fast enough. Not after the amount of time it'll take for you to get well also your group, unless you want a solo one. I can kite one back. <laughs> Unless it ignores you, unless you're directly in its way. Or I could try something a lot riskier. 
Well, keep the 4d6 set off to the side just in case. <laughs> what do you mean 4d6? Stat rolling. <laughs> oh no, if I die, I'm die, I'm dead. Uh... Gone. There's no coming back. You are right. You don't come back from death. Unless you do. Yeah. No, no, no. I meant, um, hey, 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 can I use that thing that we talked about to pull them all back here? Not to pull others back, but to move you towards others, maybe. All right. All right, everybody gather out. Okay, Kabu. If everyone is okay with that plan, that is. Who's ready to be teleported again? <laughs> Oracle, Stony. Yeah. Unfortunately, my master is staying behind to fight. So I must stay. Oh, no, you don't. Sorry, like Pops, Pops, you're coming with me. I don't need distractions other than the boy. And you think you can handle him by yourself? Of course. Unlike you, I'm not a half-baked servant. <laughs> Fine. Okay, take your word for it, then. Make sure nothing happens to him. Of course, once I make a contract with him. His protection will be my top priority. I still feel like I'm being forced into something for a second time. I have gathered. I'm just going to be moving you over here as well, unless, Stony, you don't want to go with them. Hey, can I, can I also teleport them too? Who's the- uh, no, they're gonna have to run. I tried. <laughs> I guess we'll go for the one that's farthest out. Welcome back. So, you ready to teleport through shadows, Hans? This should be fun. Hey, what do I need to do, ODM? Actually, you know what, Stony? Also, roll me a perception or insight check. Your choice. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're the exact same. Because I just remembered something. Oh, wait, no, my perception is supposedly better. <laughs> supposedly. Hey, it is! Maybe, I don't know what your other roll would have been. Stony, you're less sure than Oracle, which is really saying something. But you think one of the Counts might have been heading towards the Witch of the Fog. Or at the very least, her isle. And she has no idea it's coming. But here's the question. Would you rather go after one approaching an innocent village? Or a witch who can possibly take care of herself. Damn, none of us have sending. We don't have high enough level for that. <laughs> well, I mean, if we go to the witch and we get the witch's backup, and then we teleport somewhere else. Are you confident that you can do this more than once? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Perfect. It's like, I don't know if I feel if I should feel bad or not. Or here's the thing: like... the witch can hold her own for a while. This village cannot. I mean, Johanna, you saw the witch fight, and that was her holding that back. Is... That is true. Okay, I'm she'll willing. probably be I'm fine. Help. I'm I think she'll know if something happens to her. I mean, who knows? Maybe she can sense it coming already. Maybe. All right. Or she'll Let's die. go. Yeah, but I feel like if she dies, something will happen to the fog. Oh, you're right. There'd be a big warning in the sky. Yeah, there'd be a big ass warning. Oh god, she died. Well, <laughs> fog. fog. It's just like mom is gone. Fog cloud is leaving. Well, <laughs> mama fog it was nice out. Knowing all of you. <sighs> all right, all right so Johanna. Yes. What do Roll me Arcana. Okay. Roll me perception. Roll me insight. Roll me a con save. Okie dokie. Boop. Roll, uh, not roll me. Uh, pick a number between 1 and 50 and then 1 and 25. Oh shit, you're making me do this? Coordinate time. You remember um, how to do the coordinates. 
Argo, I hey, never even told or Argo reported. <laughs> Oracle, do you bottom remember left. where it was? Joey, bottom the left. Village? Do you remember yeah, where the was, village was, no, Oracle? It is not bottom, not bottom left. It's bottom right. <laughs> it's up here in Fog's Edge. Um, generally, yeah, because I know Zach was here, and so it was like down around this area, because I was heading west. You're gonna need to ping because he we're, was. we're. Oh, yeah. I didn't see a ping. Yeah, it's like it's like I know I headed west. If I headed straight west and Zach was about there, then maybe like we're along this path <laughs> in that general area. Pick your coordinates, Joey. Unless you just want to pick a square. Nah, you can also just pick uh, a square. That works too. Oh, pick a square? Uh, uh, boom. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could just put a token on. There? Is there good? <laughs> there is in the one? arrow or there is an oracle? What are the other? Well, I'd say I can we see go oracle. there is an oracle. Yeah, we'll go where oracle is. All right. Because even if we're slightly off, it wouldn't take us long to get there. And you are somehow it works, but boy, Johanna, do you feel a little wiped afterwards? Not enough that you can't fight, but just in general. Oh god, I gotta work on that. Now, oh, oof. Uh, hold on. Let me actually get the tokens down and have them work. For some reason, you all just disappeared. Well, yeah, we did. What? On the map that I'm sending you to! I know! Hmm. I just make funny joke, haha! Ha. <laughs> funny. Yes, darling? What the fuck? <laughs> I heard you say honey. I said funny. No, no, I said funny with an F. I know, but I heard honey, so I went with it. <laughs> And you are a little off, but you are, you do still... I mean, honestly, you can see the trail approaching the village as you are being led and running towards it. I am sitting on my brute, my staff flying, so that way I'm not exhausting myself even more. Mm -hmm. um. and Anyone? You... <laughs> Basically just stony. Yep. Whee! And you do make it. Literally in the time. nick of time. As they have only just arrived and started destroying the village. I meant to add more um, old people to the map. I see a, um, hi, um... Yeah, you see, you see a, uh, oh, yeah. weak girl protecting a boy. As right, some, of, the... some of the elderly are running away for their lives. Okay, there's the count. Alright. I guess it's the initiative? Yes. Right over to him. That is fine. You may technically take your places near them. Not too far. <laughs> I'm just going to stay where I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool. Uh, I can get rid of some of these sheets, because I don't need all of them right now. Aha! I don't need Grendel! <laughs> However, I do technically need you, even though... Oh, wait. Oh, Skylar, how much of a pain in the ass would have been if we all split up? All of you? I would have hated you for life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just gonna have both of them go in the same term, so that's fine. Ah, you know what? The elderly can have- no, the, I'm not giving the elderly a turn. Now, I want to make sure yeah. before I click this... Are they supposed to have more than one initiative count? No, because there's more than one of them. Oh, thank god. Okay, descending. There we go. Wow. Uh, the bibbity bobbity touch these hands. <laughs> All right, Johanna, you're first. All right, it is time. I am going to pop down my little area of protection. 
Yes. And then I'm going to open fire. Oh, wow. And I guess... Well, let's see how hard he is to hit. Let's go with the blast. I'm going to blast him. One. Understood. Does a 19 hit? A 19 does, in fact, hit. I'm going to roll the second one, just so that way I don't have to do an at point. Are you oh, sure? Oh, never mind. That's what... <laughs> God damn it! It's the same roll! No. Um, <laughs> that was the plan. Well, well, I'm going to have the nat, the nat 20 is the one that's going to get the extra damage die. Okay. God, I, I love that joke. It's you specifically like said you're going to roll right again there. so you don't have the nat 20. Alright, tell me... Uh, Hold on, I need to check his resistances. Okay, tell me the total damage is... What am hey, I, what am I ignoring? What am I not? Um, let's see. The bottom one was the what? crit anyway, which is convenient. Okay. That is so, true. So, we will do... So, four plus... Well, the first one's only four damage. Ouch. The second one is 13... Is, thir, is 26. Nice, nice. Now that's a good hit. It was like a, a ping to the shoulder, and what the heck was that? And then, oh god! No, literally, you hit his shoulder, which makes him look towards you, and then you hit him right in the chest, which looks pretty... I don't want to say first vulnerable, shot, zero, but... Nothing. First shot, zero the sights. The second one was dialed in. Um, and then he gets launched back 20 feet. Oh, yeah, you know, you... you, you, you I can't. Well, edge of the map, but yeah. <laughs> Damn it, now he's out of range for me to give these hands. He has his turn before you. Well, he, goes, he goes before you. He should be back. Okay, good. <laughs> Unless he shoots from a distance. Oh, you never know. I'm not keeping him at the edge of the map with Joey here. <laughs> right. I'll be back. Anything else, Joey? Um, no, that's my turn. I'm staying put in my little ten-foot area. Meanwhile, he's just shouting to you now that you stole her from him. She's probably right next to you, damn it. Alright, the girl's turn. As she looks to the oracle. What are you doing here? It's like I'm protecting the village. And you and your brother. I thought you had already left. I have. But you can see we have unwanted guests that showed up. So I thought it'd be best to come and make sure you guys were safe. Uh, thank you. As I'm she looks sure tired again. That, though. Stony. so far away. Okay, now you I can't help. <laughs> <laughs> I have one ranged attack, and they're still too far away. What's your range? Uh, depending on which one I do, either 20 or 30. I mean, you could get in a range of one. Uh... Unless you just don't go in range. I'll just use... You, you know what? I'll go right here. Instead of doing anything else, I'm just gonna give uh, Hans uh, mascot's aid. Ooh. And at least for them to see. Yes, and then because that is new. It is so, new. You have a D4! I just put a hand oh. on your shoulder. You got this eventually. <laughs> Unless you're using the alternative one. Uh, no, the D4. You got it. I was about to say, either you're giving a D4 or you're giving advantage. Up to you. Which, which at that point would just be help. Right. Which one do you prefer? <laughs> oh, I don't mind either or. I, I can do prefer one. the help action for advantage. More likely to get a crit because we've seen what these hands can do. <laughs> well, when then I, I kicked uh, Beowulf across the forest. That's true. You gained the help then. 
Thank you kindly. Anything else, Tony? No. Got it. Meanwhile, he is flying, launching himself. Oh no. Wait, can he? Oh no! If he tries, though, he he's gonna be within range of me. I don't think so! Joey, watch out! What I meant. He's, lo he's launching himself straight at you. Oh no, I don't like that. Damn it, had he gone uh... to here, his path would have taken him right past me. You're right. Hi! What? Die. Um, yeah. Let me see. It, it, there's nothing you can do about that. Is he, um, I have a question. What what is he considered? Is he just a humanoid? Uh, what are your things again? What? What are your things? What do they affect? A fiend, undead. Um, let me look at the list. Ah. I know Fey fiend, undead. Um, primordial. Or elemental. Um. Give me a minute. Because I don't want to just straight up say what he is. Give me a, have any of the things gone off? No. He's um, none of what you have said so far. Well, hey, welcome to your first actual boss fight of the campaign. Give me a second. Let's dispel loads. No, don't, don't do this to me. Um, Aberration, Celestial, Elemental, Fey, Fiend, and Undead. Alright, he is counted. Does it work? Oh fuck, I ha -ha! think he might be a celestial. Then he has disadvantage and shield. Twenty-three, so what's your AC? Let me let me check. I think I think that's Just to make sure you don't over. waste your or is shield. That it? Is it... Nah, damn it, twenty-three meets it, beats it. Damn it! Ah, uh, so you're not gonna shield, I assume. No, I'm not gonna shield. There'd right. be no point. And However, there punch, is a right? second one coming. Uh, and everybody doesn't matter. Um, and those don't count as ma those don't um don't no, they don't count for the purposes of a spell of some sort. <laughs> no, they are not a spell. I'm just checking. No, I know why you're asking. All right. Well, how much? Um, oh, more than uh, I thought. Oh, Jeez. God. Uh, ah, that's a high level right there. Oh god, I might. You might be down. You might be down. Go. I'm, I'm probably. Um, give me one second. Unless you have a way to resist uh, either of those. Yeah, no. Oh shit, no, that's 43. No. Whoa. Wait, absorb element! <laughs> absorb yeah. element! I thought you had fire. that. Either way. Do I have to chew? Well. Don't you have to choose the element? Do you, um, let me read how it works. Uh, the next time a creature... Um, you have the resistance to the triggering damage type until the start of your next turn. So whatever triggers it. Alright, which would be the first one. So that 12 is half to 6, and the 10 is half to 5. However, and I am it's still to going to be too much for you. The and I am resistant to it until the start of my next turn. But it will not be enough to save so you. So it applies to the next. Oh, really? Yeah. If it, you you have all of it? I have the 12 and the 10. Still 37. Uh, well, work. I'm out. Yeah. Bye, guys. I'm going to work of another Absorb Elements. He's cast it on. It only works on... You can only target yourself. No, I have Guardian Angel. But I don't know if you can double it up, though. 
That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I guess if you were technically able to do it on the poison. Can you? You well, can hit no, your it doesn't work. thing on. But it doesn't work on poison. Gotcha. Shit, yeah, no. Because it, it gives resistance. To poison damage anyway. So you can't double resistance without it being... It's true. Is that all damage? Yep. Or is it just one specific element? One element. Yeah, you can only do it to acid, cold, work. fire, lightning, or thunder. Sadly, poison is ah, not one of them. Shame, shame. Well. Oh, Bye, no. guys. Johanna, you got your good hit in. And he returned the favor. As he starts laughing maniacally. I barely... I barely did any damage to him. Shit. You did a nat 20. Hans. Your magic man just went down. Bonus action, Hunter's Mark. Fair. And we gonna swing. A 16 does not hit. Fuck, I probably should have gone with the D4, but oh well. I can't do anything else, though, with action and bonus action. You only have the one attack? Uh, unfortunately. Alright. Oracle! I want you wither. Ooh. It's gotta make a saving throw. What kind? What is that? Uh, con. 14. Con. Yeah, con. God damn it. The damn it was me seeing how high his con was. It's a oh, shame uh, that's Wither and not Wither and Bloom. He's <laughs> about to get Joey back up. Yeah, the spell that Joey has. Anything else? Wait, no, he still takes half, doesn't he? He still takes 16. But he has not become wither, vulnerable. The spell with, oh, you thought it was boom? Not thinking, but hoping. Wishing. Is that your turn, Oracle? That is all I have. Johanna! Hi. Kinda need to make it a roll. Yep, save? Y yeah, you kinda gotta. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I forgot about something. Hold on. No, you do you. I need to do some things in the background that I just remembered. Oh, okay, that's one good one. That's one success. Hope he doesn't just decide to murder me. <laughs> oh, that'd be bad. Alright, give me a second before I move on, because I have to do something real quick. Oh, hey, that fits. Okay. The girl is very much afraid after seeing what the Count just did to Johanna. Oh. We're going to die. Follow me into the ground. We're all going to die. I'm going to die for real this time. She is now on her knees. Stony! Yep, yep. Hey, they're close enough. Ignore the old man on the map, by the way. He's not here. He's just... You don't know? Yeah, here. sure, he's here. He's watching. He's chilling. <laughs> he survived enough death in Tormal. He doesn't care. He's, he's the kind of guy who would just sit on his chair in front of his lawn while the world's ending. Like, ah, yeah, yeah, I get it. It's my time. Come and get me, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, well, I would move my token, but it seems that my character sheet's in the way. Oh, oh that's a shame. I'm just gonna... Hey, Hans, can I, like, encroach upon your area real quick? <laughs> yeah, you can pass within my area. 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit on your hat. That's fine. Wow, just like the silhouette image I have. <laughs> Except not on the hat. I'm going to do one of these. A little bit of this, a, a little, little bit, bit of that. that. One attack. Oh. I think a 25 hits. Lovely. Uh, I'll just have it be regular bludgeoning damage. Five. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Damage is damage. Do you have to check because it always varies based on the campaign? Flanking? Yes. Okay, making sure. No, no, you're good. Uh, here. Oh, hey, now I have to check that to make sure my thing's right, but I know exactly what I'm going to do next. <laughs> I just need a kind of fight. Take a walk. Well, well, yeah, that too. <laughs> okay, no, that's right. Wait, no, it's not. It's not. oh, it's not. Oh, okay, it's not. It's dumb. <gasps> Wisdom. Oh, it's the exact same. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, Dragon's Breath. Okay, deck save. Uh, on my end, it's not showing an actual roll of damage. No, I don't see it either. No. I see deck That's save, so I roll deck save. Shame you couldn't give him this advantage somehow. Indeed. Unless you can. No. Oh, I see why my damage didn't roll. I have it in the wrong spot. Oh, that'll do it. Regardless, I'll just roll it by hand because that would be sufficiently easier because it's still half. <laughs> I have it lightning damage. God, I have to check a sheet again to get the goddamn your people. Okay. Nine. Well, no, it's so, four. So, for five again. You're consistent with your damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my damage is 2d6. Yeah, but I mean, five damage here, five damage there. A little bit of this, yeah. a little bit of that. You're consistent with that five. Well, to be fair, I can all my, my all of my rolls are a d6. <laughs> Anything else, Stony? Yes. All right. Flurry of blows. Okie dokie. One. Uh, hey, twenty-five hits. It I'm does surprised not. you didn't go to the other side to get flanking. Well, they already had to move down there. I don't know how much movement they got left. Uh, where was I? I... Like... Somewhere here? up here. One of these spots. You'd have enough movement. I have more than enough movement. My movement speed is... 50? You're a monk. You have at least 40 movement. You 50. can literally go there and come back. Well, there you go. Like... Which would it. then let me be able to swing at him if he swung at you. You got advantage yeah. on that 10. Eh. Oh, nope. Okay, roll 20. Bye. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. No, the world says it doesn't hit. I was about to say, unless you wanted to treat that 10 as the second roll for the 25 for the oh, most you flanking. And then now you have an 8 plus whatever you roll next. You have an 8 with advantage. Roll again. <laughs> yeah, Taz, Watch roll your that. advantage on single rolls. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Watch it roll and have one somehow. I would not be surprised. Okay, A12 also does not hit. So, you did your first well, swing, now you're doing your flurry, so that's one, two. Uh huh. So, you have one more uh, swing then? Remember, just kick on advantage. If it works. <laughs> there it is. You know, it that didn't matter that time. No. <laughs> Do what? It just didn't matter that time. 24 and 23. Nine. 
96. 96. 15. So, three swings, average of 15 damage. I wish I did 94. <laughs> 15 damage, average of five uh, per swing. Yeah. Consistency. Oh, good job, Stormy. I was going to just say, I wish I got 96 okay, damage. Now, Stormy, my advice, use your last 10 feet of movement to move back over to Hans. Because I have a feeling he's going to swing at you, and that'll give me the chance to swing at him as a result. Okay. Use the hat for cover. <laughs> yes. And that would be all. All right. He's going to get his ass kicked by this little rock. Oh, no. Monte Cristo, please. Both could. Good, 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 good. Speaking of that rock. Did that jog him away? No. Oh, Just means he's not going to go on a full-on rampage. He took a swing at my friend. Two swings at your friend. Does not matter. A 12 does not hit. We've been over this. I know. However, Stony, I don't know if a 17 does or a 26. Unfortunately, a 26 does just hit. Oh man, but the 17 misses though because your AC is 25. Got it. <laughs> uh, both hit. Oh damn it. Why couldn't Joey get this damage? Wait, wait, are you resistant to poison? Uh... The game. You're literally made of rock. I don't see how you can be poisoned. <laughs> Look, I still didn't check, dang it. <laughs> Actually, what am I doing? Why would I look at my race for that? I don't think that actually matters. See, Joey could have survived this damage. The thing that sucks, I wish I had taken Joey's damage. I would have survived that. Yeah, I know. Uh, Me sitting here with 29 HP. Where the uh, fuck is he going? What? Oh, on my end, it shows that he's now south of me. The Count? Yes. Yeah, he's right here. He didn't well, go anywhere. A moment ago, it was showing that he was right there, so I'm like, where the fuck is he going? <laughs> yeah, he was he here. On his turn, he moved here. Okay. Well, as for the resistance, unless DM says so, no, not technically. Alright, cool. Do you have absorb elements? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any spells! <laughs> <laughs> then take the... Am I right in saying this 24? Yeah, 24 damage. Oh, that's not that bad. Nah, Johanna could survive that without Absorb. <laughs> yeah, I'd be at 5. <laughs> but you'd be yeah. up. Oh man, the area random's getting a little toasty. Hans. Oh no. <laughs> Johanna! <laughs> Move to this side of him? Oh my god. No, a twelve does not hit. How many times must I tell you this? Bonus action. <laughs> However, a crack twenty does. Beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> forty-three. Remember that forty-three he did to Johanna? Did you just say it's forty-three right back? Yes, the forty-three Johanna took right back. Uh, no one tell Kobu that I almost did that on his token. Okay, what, I will 43 tell... damage? You almost took 43 damage. I won't tell Kobu that he almost took 43 damage. <laughs> Anything else, Kobu, before you take 43 damage? Uh? Moving... Here to give Oracle a chance to come up close if he wants, while still being able to swing at the count if he goes for Sony again. Understood. Speaking of the Oracle, hi. The Oracle, aka Argos. Oh man, um, I think I'm just gonna just gonna keep going with what I know. <laughs> Let's do Wither again because he wasn't resistant to it. You're right, he wasn't. Like, out of all the, the creatures that I fought. Your daughter is also dying. doesn't resist your wither. If she, 
is she unconscious right now? She yeah, is currently she dying. Snap the fuck out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, took uh, just took some back for forty three damage and went out like a light. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, so your daughter what? just got slapped unconscious. Oh, you could have done that last round. Hey, Joey, how you feel? <laughs> uh, I feel better if I know how much I healed for. Uh, you heal for seven. Hey, Max. Hey, that's enough. Hey, that's enough that on your turn you can wither and bloom for healing. <laughs> God, the best part of that is that he just waited an extra round. I needed. Well, I needed to be fair, he situation. couldn't have done that. He couldn't have done that last round. Yeah, he, he cast a spell last round, so. But yeah, but, but that's what I mean. I mean that's what I mean. Instead yeah, of that, that, that instead of wither. But you but do still have your action. Are we are still good. Um, I think I am going to. Oh shoot! I can't double. Not you level spells. Cast. If you've got a cantrip, you... though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cantrips. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do <laughs> shocky grasp. Uh, are you able to do that at range? Yes, I I can. He does have a feat with uh, what was it? Casting seven? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Eighteen. Eighteen. Meets it, beats it. Now, how does he feel about lightning? Someone did lightning to him before. Yeah, and he took full damage last time, so. Oh, hey, he can't take reactions. Hey, guys. Specifically, hey, Johanna, gonna live. specifically Johanna's gonna, gonna like that. <laughs> I am going to give me a moment. To escape. Hey, anything else, Oracle? You're helping your daughter. No, that, that, is, that is what I aim to do. All right. um, no, that's all. In that case, uh, there are footsteps approaching. Okay. They're not here yet, though. That's fine. Johanna, good morning. It's hot. Your, your body feels baby. weird. Yep, it does. Wither and bloom. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. And then back to the fuck up. Do this at third level. <laughs> DC Take oh, ten. Make con save. Stoney, you can roll hey, two he hit failed. dice. Hey, he failed! Yay! You can roll two hit dice to heal yourself. So Wait, can I. You healing! Damage. Both of us can! Oh. Okay. In the area that the Wither and Bloom takes place! Joey, he takes less damage, but still damage. He takes less? Why did he take less? Uh, necrotic. I thought he was, wasn't was resistant. Did oh, he? fucking force. <laughs> oh, oh I, thought, I thought he took full damage from um, Wither. With, Wither was wasn't it fire? No, no sorry. That no, yeah, that should have been resistance. I read it as fire because okay. of the vulnerability. Oh yeah. Wait, what? What? Why did my HP go down? I, why did it go? Why did you minus because two? Because you because what? you did. No, I did plus. I added it. And it still brought it down to five. I don't understand why it did oh, that. Oh, no, I, I, I know what happened. Yeah, I don't think you hit the plus. You just typed in I five. did hit the plus. I saw the plus. Joey, I did the plus. This happens yeah. to me sometimes. I actually don't know why. Roll 20 just is weird. Okay, and I'm going to use my staff to then take me because my staff has a 60-foot fly speed. Stoney, you heal for 16, by the way. Yep, yep. Where's 60-foot? Uh, far. You want to grab a cowering child on your way past? Sure, why not? Child or children? Sure, hop on! Well, no Come on, on hop on up. Everybody, let's go! <laughs> grab on! You know, we can do it. Keep going, I'll move them with you. Come on, let's get through it! You, you go by and you grab, snatch them up by the collar of their shirts. Whee! Also, uh, Joey, ironic that you actually moved there. Why? What steps? The source? Yeah. You can see who it is! Oh. Ren! 
Oh, they're in their little dress! Just because the token is so goddamn small. It's so cute! I love them. Alright, and bonus action. Pop, pop up my protective circle again. God, you know, I actually forgot that Ren was coming this way. It took me halfway in the fight for me to remember. And that ends my turn. Okay. Speaking of... I'm gonna die. First I thought I was gonna die out in not space, and now I'm gonna die here. Oh, it's just never gonna end for me. Um... Stony! You can do it! Remember, remember to flank? <laughs> Slap the shit out of him and come back. Yeah. Oh, and let's roll twenty. Okay, bye, roll twenty. <laughs> and also remember, he has no reaction until after this to her. Yeah. I keep forgetting. I have it a mouse. Nice so rolling hit dice. Unless you have a plus yeah. one and roll shit. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what, your, your nat one was a two. Stoney's was a six. Yeah, I was just saying, even my nat one kind of still gave me a good bump. Stoney's nat one gave them more than your total. Uh, no, a 13 no. does not hit. Okay. And what 18, however, me? does. Meets it, beats it. Yay. Eh. Nine. Nine. I love my tiny amount of damage. You want to hit it again? You are doing it, though. I am doing it. Of course I would love to do it again. I would love to do it... Oh. Can I? <laughs> yes. I, I don't know. That was that was not me saying yes to candy, because I don't know what you can. Skyler, you know that random issue where your computer just shut goes to a black screen for a good period of time? Yeah. It's not my whole computer, it's just roll 20 that would like blank for a split second and then load back up pixel by pixel. Ah, good. You see, when my computer doesn't, it doesn't fix. Hey. Let's see if it'll let you roll again. It's gonna let me roll. It just my yeah. mouse goes to click on something and it slowly moves it up away from the attack button. Anyway, fl flurry of blows. Mm -hmm. One. That hits. Two. Three. How oh, the hell do you two. have three in your flurry? Two. Two. I don't know why I rolled the third one. Either way, ignoring the last, still two. Uh, I mean, roll 20, no, I didn't have three. Fair enough. And Five! <laughs> Five! Hey, Stony. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, that's 19 total damage for the three swings that hit. Yeah, yeah. You're either rolling nine or you're rolling five. Yeah. Ah, well, I'm glad I forgot about that ability of his. That'd just be annoying for all of you. What? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I like the way you said that, Joey. <laughs> it's just advantage on saves. Don't worry. I'm not giving it to him anymore. But it is his turn as he is still... Wait, Stoney! Stoney, you forgot to take the step to the side in case he swings at you. Like there we go. Yes. All right, Monte Cristo. Okay. He's slung. Oh, now that's what he said. I mean, is he it... berserking? Uh, in a controlled sense, but he is still okay. maniacally laughing. Uh, who, who is in range? Not I don't me. Like that question. <laughs> Who's in range proceeds to point a person from miles away. <laughs> Aha, I, think within 60 I see. You are, Joey. You're within oh, 60. You're right. But they're not within 30. 
Why didn't it roll the actual dice? Give me a second. You can read that while you want, though, and make your wisdom saves. Because the three of you near him, including Oracle, oh no, are about to be hit. That is that is a very weird damage. 4d7. Oh, have you not looked at what his damage dice actually are on his attacks? No. Let me scroll up and look. Yeah, no, all of his numbers are weird. Alright, now if I click... If I click it again, it should do it. There we go. Oh wow, you guys are lucky. <laughs> Either way, you need your saves. And you said it's, uh... DC 20? Wisdom save. And then he takes his own I... damage. As he is currently just trying to burn down everything in sight. I honestly don't know if I should even try rolling, but I'll roll it just for the hell of it. Nat 20 is nat 20. Nat 20 has to be it, because it, I have to roll a nat 20. The only way I can roll a 20. Exactly. No. What is the damage we take? Unless you resist either poison or fire. 20. Which yeah. is the exact same thing he took. And never mind. Alright, the only one who's different. <laughs> You're having the fire, so fire no, is half to five. Five, five yeah. plus nine is fourteen. Yeah. You take fourteen. Everyone else takes the full okay. twenty. Oh hey, Stody, you're basically back to where you were. Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not resisting anything. And that is his turn. Hans! Hold on. Fuck! A 70 does not hit. Huh? Oh, why? Oracle! Why? I need you! What's your stuff? Yeah, my, uh, my 22! Hold on, your I need to fix turn order for the Oracle who deleted himself. No. You had an 8 something. 8.14, yeah, I yeah, remember that. Wording. Oh, never mind, you put it in for me, thank you. So, yeah, I, uh, at my least my. Was glitched. <laughs> oh, hey, 22. Yep. The second, the second hit hit. Yeah, you're right. And boy, did it hit. So long as I kill enough of you, I can take her back from him. I don't care how many corpses there are. Hey, Oracle. How did he even take Heidi? You don't it's even me. know who he is. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying, how did he even get her? Or if they're, they're even talking about Haiti. They should be. That's the one they love. <laughs> so it's gone. So, Oracle, what you gonna do? Uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, mass healing word. Oh, nice. Um, so, uh, Stoney, Hans, Johanna, and, yeah, uh, I, like too. I don't think anybody else is damaged. Uh, no, just the player, so unless you want to count the Count of Monte Cristo. No, not. Oh. <laughs> no, not that. So just four of us. And that would be... Six. No, oh, sorry, five. 5 HP. Everybody. Every little bit counts. I'm above half. <laughs> Do what? I'm above half now. As am I. As is Stony. Little feet running in. Uh, Meanwhile, I don't know if Oracle I'm healed himself, you. but he's at half. I did not. Well, <laughs> I'm about to. Sorry, I was about to do my, my next while I was on it. Nah, you're good. <laughs> there we go. Alright, um, I'm also going to... Uh, same as the first. Let's do Shock and Grasp. Alright, see if it hits. You got please hit. <laughs> Why is it 
not letting me click Those it. Those just being dumb. As we wait. Uh, DC save? No, it's an attack roll. Yeah, your thing is... is... Yeah, Shocking Grasp is a to hit. You rolled your attack before. Yeah, you have to manually roll it because your roll not... 20 is oh, being. That's weird. I did not. A shame you didn't come over to do it melee and get that advantage. Indeed, a shame. But no, a 9 does not hit. That is all that I have. That's he... because then you would have been able to run away without uh, As him being able to hit the you. As he lightning away. Ren! Huh? Oh, oh, you're I... here. Hi. <laughs> Where's Zacharias? Oh, little friend. Um, he's back at the mansion. Point me in that direction. I point. <laughs> I need to check his movement. I don't, I don't remember Ren's movement. Ren okay. is not helping us. Ren is heading to help Zach. He has more movement. With, which is uh, probably I, better. I, <laughs> I might be able to teleport us there later. Which one is quicker? What do you say? Teleport is quicker. Okay. Ren, Little stay here. It would take help. at least a day to walk there. Help. Ren, help. I take more than. Ren Yay, thank Ren. Ren. Ren dash. Ren would not have gotten there either way, so it's fine. Round. Johanna, hi. You have children. Um. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> yes. Roll another net 20. Right. Make yourself um, a target. Um. Well, should I do it? He's good at deck. Has anyone made him take a deck save? Yes. You. What was his deck very save? Good at those. I think it was you. If not, someone else did. Oh, he's very good at those. Okay. Oh, so, yes. I started blasting. Hey, 20 hits. 10 hits. A 16 does not. Takes 10. And is pushed. Yes, push 10 feet. Into and the building. Sorry! Oh, can I can't turn that off. Indeed. Actually, yeah, because it would have pushed him there into the building. Eh. Shame he can't take more damage from getting, you know, <laughs> slammed into a wall. Uh, one guy did did. Those thugs. You are right. But do you think he's as weak as a normal thug? Oh no. But that was funny though. Oh, of course it was. Anything else, Johanna? No, I'm good. I do not have bonus action things to do. They were going to kill me before. Hey, they spared me. They gave me a chance. I have my brother now. I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die with my brother. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Stop. Stop. You're not gonna die. It's okay. We're winning. Calm down. I was supposed to roll a d10. Hold on. D10, no. <laughs> Come on. Talk to her. Meanwhile, the boy doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Stony. Snap out of it. Oh, nope, there we go. Whee. And... Yeah, okay. I was just gotta make sure it's off, because there's no one nearby. No, there is no chance for advantage here. Unless it decides to put it up there for whatever reason. <laughs> One. No, no, a 14 does not hit. Two. No, a 16 does not hit.
Mm. You'll get there. Ah, cool. I don't actually have to hit for this. Oh. Bye. Hope to see ya. <laughs> what is that, mobile? Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, I, I'm i far used to that, don't you worry. I've played, like, I have played I enough characters with that style. It's just like, huh, I missed, okay, bye. <laughs> I would flurry, but I don't have that many key points left. Mm. Yeah, that is all. Okay. The Count. Hey. Hey, Hans. This is about to hurt. I don't know, is it? Okay, well, you said it. I'm down. Oh, no. I know, before you even roll it, I'm, yep, I'm down. You said it, no. <laughs> you called the nat 20, you could have survived the normal damage. And then... Stony. Oh, he just teleported. Hi. I like how you say teleport, even though that's technically what it is. Even though it just looked like he should have just moved. Thank you. Are you up, Stony? I think you guys think I am. Well, you're well, small. No, the tank. Your tiny so. HP bar makes it hard to tell. <laughs> but you Fair do enough. have more HP than anyone else. Yeah, but it is hard to tell with your <laughs> teeny tiny health bar. Put your glasses is on. <laughs> all, I of your, all of your corpses will be fuel for my vengeance. Has the I'm zoomed in at 150. And hey, Hans, so perfect fast. timing. Now, Hans, you didn't hear no bell. Well, Darn. not quite. It's not Matt 20. I was gonna hope for it at 20. Yo, Oracle, you just healed some people. Yeah. Looks like I'm <laughs> not gonna keep doing that, too. You didn't <laughs> hear a bell! We're gonna get back in that fight. Alright. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, masculine word again? Yeah. Dude. Might as well, since Stony's also taken damage. There we go. Oh, hey, that just... Hold on, is that min? I mean, oh, that, that was min. No. So, it's, yeah. it's fine. It did what it needed to. You heal for four, you uh, people. Ten, ten people. <laughs> and you still got that action of yours. I do. I'm almost back to full. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly but surely. Congrats, you have uh, the boss ball half. He is all it takes to be up, so... You are right, right. about that. Exactly. It is, it, I'm it, just it, upset that I missed my damn turn. <laughs> that is so true and upsetting, honestly. Um, I'm going to do... Uh, yeah, the same thing. Let's do it again. No, a 15 does not hit. Oh, wait, you're right. You only missed your turn, Hans. Downed on the count, brought back an oracle. Yes. I literally just had my like damn turn ball. skipped. Oh. You were just stunned, basically. I got slapped hard enough that I blacked out for a second. <laughs> Is that all, Oracle? As you were falling to the ground, you regain consciousness. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Red. Ren must conserve strength, but Ren help. What is it? Ren moved to the other side for a flank. Huh? Or did Ren not have enough movement for it? Uh, no, they could have, actually. That's not where I put them. All right, there we go. Hey, Stoney, you're a tiny friend. Oh, you're here. Shadow of the Colossus music starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I have some of that. I just don't have it on roll tw roll twenty on OBS, so I can't play it. Ran, ran. There we go. That flanking help. 
Ah, uh, uh, yes, the two tiny people flanking. <laughs> <laughs> It's not enough to make him cease to exist, but he but certainly got cut. Hurt. And how many swings does Ren get in a turn? Uh, three per day. No, not not the big swings. What? No, not in general. Round four. So Ren can only Johanna. attack three times a day. Yes. Oh. And this was one yeah. of them. Yes. Fuck. Okay. No. Magic blast. I think you hit. Magic blast. I, th I Joey. I, I'm telling you, a 25 hits. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's 11 plus and nine. And 11. Because I not the second two, right? Yeah, the there's only one one of the extras. Yeah. So it's Well, that's still 20. Yep, and he's pushed, what, 20 feet? 20 feet. Fucking hell. <laughs> Sorry. Can't you fly upwards and aim it down into the ground? <laughs> Knock him prone? I could, but I already set up my spot. Fine. <laughs> you set it up for a second time. Meanwhile, he's so just gonna come running back. He'll <laughs> come running back on your turn. <laughs> Clyde grabs on to you, Johanna. Yeah. I don't want to die again. I don't want to be a monster again. It's okay. It's okay. There's nothing to unpack in that statement. Stony! You don't recognize me? No, not immediately. Well, I mean, it was a different token, so I don't blame Kobu. And it was a long, long time ago. <laughs> that too. Not Who the longest, is it? though. Um, uh, you remember when we were on a on a um a certain ship through space? Oh my fucking god! A certain god. foreigner, Stony. No. It's your turn. Yes. It's our. Yeah. We will protect this child. Oh, my Marshall die. I'm gonna do this. Oh, fair enough. Do you have enough key points left? Oh, yeah. That's why I didn't do my flurry, because I didn't know how hard I was gonna be hit. Fair point. You guys and are kind of fighting for your mm -hmm. lives here. Yeah. So your martial arts diet this level is a D six, right? Oh, so that's eight uh, HP. Uh plus prof oh no, yeah, plus no, proficiency. No. Wait, yeah, no, yeah, you that's should have plus three proficiency. I was gonna say I'm level five. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Not You're sorry. all level five. For some reason <laughs> I was thinking three. Ignore me. I am <laughs> Uh, don't worry, sometimes I think you're level 3. Then I remember the stuff I'm throwing at you. No, you shouldn't be. I wouldn't be able to attack twice <laughs> if we were level 3. I know. Anything well, other else? than Flurry, but that's... Uh... Well, and your normal bonus yeah. action. Well, yeah. But I do plan to move a bit. Understood. I just needed to do some quick maths, and by that I mean, god dang it, I deleted the amount. <laughs> What's your quick maths? Your healing? Yeah. Just click on your token and click and say plus six. Deleted my health. Oh no. Luckily, I remembered I was at twice. Something. Uh, move. You know what? Are you gonna get pleasure term, or do you want to take a step down, maybe? I'm gonna get on the roof of this building over here. Ho oh, ho. Looks what? like I'm about to get hit. <laughs> Either you, Oracle, Ren, or uh forbid Yohana. <laughs> Please no. I don't wanna get screw it and just nukes the area again. 
I still find it funny that this random old man is just <laughs> chilling out watching us nearly die. <laughs> he is a target. <laughs> well, I'm glad I've got no. He's been ignored this entire time and has not been a threat. <laughs> the count just blinks. Wait, you're alive. <laughs> I, I, I don't like that you keep pointing over here. Please stop. Okay, hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't like that you kind of just take. Ah! Taking what? who to go punch. Well! Please tell me it's not the old man. Goodbye, Ren. No, Ren! Nat one. Nat one. Five. That is not a nat one. That is lots of damage. Red is okay Red? though. Is the... oh no. As Red! you just see the spot Ren was on get obliterated. Not a trace so left. Ren had to disappear for a little while. More laughter oh, so coming was... from the count. Oh, so that random home run sound from uh, Super Smash Bros. wasn't too far off. <laughs> Game. Yep. He hurt tiny friend. How he hurt Johanna too. Movement? How does he have that much movement? Because anger doesn't stop is different. I was gonna joke this. Oh fuck! That's right. Anger doesn't stop is the teleport hit. Uh -huh. Um, is that on me? Yeah. Yes, he has advantage, which is a nineteen. Shield. Which means you can <laughs> Oh, you are, you are right. Disadvantage. Yep. As you can feel the air around you burning away. Ah, why did you come next to me? Gonna die, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. Not today! <laughs> Hugs, you're Bonus at action. four. Bonus action dash. <laughs> Coming in for a flying knee. Well, speaking of, speaking of the Smash Bros. home run bat, <laughs> flying kicks always result in crits. <laughs> as that's 24, 34, 40 damage to the back of his head. He is out of triple digits. And why is uh, your leg currently burning? It feels pain. It is the flames of my righteous anger. <laughs> Anything else on this? Uh, not really anything else I can do. All right. But I am at least in a good position to give Johanna flanking. That it, well, if Johanna is in melee. I, I don't do melee. <laughs> Oracle. Weather. All right. 14. Oh, that's right, and your thing changes um, it to, uh... Yeah, it changes the damage, doesn't it? Alright, I need to make a roll. What is it, con? Con. Con. No. Half damage. Golf. Indeed, indeed. Some damage. Anything else, Oracle? Uh, no. Got it. I'm gonna just get a little bit closer. That's it. <laughs> Ren could not have a turn, for Ren does not exist anymore. Round five, Johanna. But at least not right now. Well, what do you mean? Why does Ren get a second chance at life? Magical blast! I don't think that was enough to outright kill Ren, though. Because Ren God, is Ren. God dang it, I quite literally said that and then I realized I was muted. Nope, no hits. No, there's nothing I can see. You, you are too close. Your beams just do not get the force enough to even penetrate him. They just evaporate before reaching his body. Oh, Stony, you want to come run over here and come kick him in the head? Excuse me, it's Clyde's turn? I'll move back over next to Clyde. Alright, Stoney, it's your turn. Oh, 
Oh, in the old I? adage, the teach him the art of Taekwon Leap. <laughs> Boot to the head. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I could just... You can more than get there. Oh, no, that's not what I was looking at. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? Burn. Uh, give me back my character. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't do that. It shrunk, and then it, when I opened it again, it shrunk more. Oh, I think I know exactly what you did, and oh. I hate when I do that. It's annoying. It is but so it annoying. You okay, have to either just have... restart it all, or just resize it yourself. I always resize it myself. I can't be bothered to restart. I, but... Yeah, I know I do that too. Just I don't think I'm in the area to be able to do the... Actually, what am I talking about? Hunt has a hat. <laughs> and a shoulder. Yes. And a shoulder. There's a Yohata over there. Yes, yeah. which means flanking. One. A 21 does hit. And my other one. A oh, net 20, hi. I think, yeah, hits. Very much hit. Four. Four. Plus seven. So Eleven. Eleven damage. Seven, eleven. 7-11. Not 111. <laughs> Do you want to bonus action smack? Can you? I am going to bonus oh. action. Uh, the yeah, attack, extra attack, bonus action No, attack. no, I, for some yep. reason my mind instantly went to flurry. Yep, no, you uh, don't need to flurry. Just... Yeah, I was just saying, I, I would only be able to do it one more time. You'd rather save and that that's point. Save, save that key point in case you need it. And, uh... Thumb, stop shaking. <laughs> this is a horrible mouse to have a trimble, trembling thumb with. And boom. I think it's only two And that hits. Boom. Another, Another six. six. With 17 total damage. Yep, He's yep. getting there. However, mm. I think you should fear. He's going to do his AOE, isn't he? If I am correct, I... Please. About not. 30 feet. Please do not AoE. Opportunity? So no, I know you have mobile. Yes, I'll say, yeah, right. You would need to move more than 30 feet away. <laughs> oh, I know that. Wait a second. No. <laughs> no, can't hit the Oracle. <laughs> I know, I planned that 30 feet just in case something happened. Oh yeah, you never would have expected it. Yeah, it'd be a shame if he took one step to the right. <laughs> oh, I knew. <laughs> Anything else, Stony? I was, I was really debating on getting on that square. And I was like, you know what? Just in case. Let me not do that. No, there is nothing right. else. And now, the Please long no, anticipated wait. step to the right. <laughs> Damn it, don't um, Which is gonna drop me. Might drop Johanna. I'm sorry, did I'm I hear someone say kid. don't AoE? Please. Please don't. Okay. Please. God damn it. Nope, I'm. I'm... Oh god. Oh Nothing god, boy. That sounds both of us and probably kills those kids. Please don't die. God, I should have teleported them. I knew I should have teleported them away. <laughs> gonna deal his own damage. I'm not going to even roll, because even what half damage save? so downs me. Wisdom. Wisdom? Okay, wisdom. Twelve again. God damn it! I'm not even rolling because I'm down. If I... <sighs> oh my god! Did they up? What? Are they good? Well, um... No! The boy's dead, but the girl nat 20 Um... Damn, I knew I should have teleported them. And again, I lose my fucking turn! Well, um, how much damage is it? Uh, 14 poison, 14 damage. fire. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe you both can survive. Hold on, give me a second. Let me do some quick maths. Is... Hey, how much? People who absorb elements. Oh, Joey, how dare it? 21. 
I really, it gets me down even if I... God damn it. Because you can't do anything Oracle, to the poison. If, if, um, if Oracle were to... Uh, did Oracle, did you absorb elements yourself? He has to. I did. Damn, yeah, okay. Yeah, in order to survive. All right. In order to kill damn, him. I wish I could have... If, if I were able to absorb elements for the boy, would he survive? No. 21 would still kill him? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask something because I'm going to go down. Yes. Anyway. Can I try to use the shadows to teleport him? Make me an arcana. Make 22. me an insight. Make me a con save. Eighteen. In your last moments, before the attack fully reaches the boy, it does start to, but the fog rises up around him and takes him away. You don't know where, you don't have time to think about where you're taking him, but he is gone. I just, I just, as I'm going down to Heidi, I moved him. <laughs> as she looks back, there's no one there, looks to you, you're unconscious. Looks in front, there is menacing evil. I, 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 I saved him. <laughs> well, I, gotta I, hope you, I hope you can get somebody up. <laughs> well, that is his turn. Hans. Hi, how you doing? Let me roll my death save. Oh, it still says you're at four for me. I hadn't had a chance to change it yet, but I'm at four, okay? Even making the save wouldn't have stopped it. No, I know. I made the save. I could have opened up. Oh, no. Oracle. Oracle. It's the last time I could do a level three. <laughs> nice. Oh, your healing is very much needed here, even if it's six. Hey. Everybody. Johanna is up at six. Should I assume the girl Clyde is also a target? Yeah. Does that get what six people? Yeah. So. All right. <laughs> Fuck, but he's still so close. <laughs> You're right. Anything else? Uh, right. Yeah. And, uh, shocking grasp again. Please, for the love of God, hit. I think we all saw that coming. Roll, Roll the attack. No. Oh, no. 17, not enough. Just misses. Damn it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I see Johanna <laughs> trying to flee for her life. <laughs> Friend doesn't exist. Okay. Round six. Johanna, you're up again. He's right in front of you, and honestly, looks very much like he's about to disappear. But you, I, I can't hit him while I'm this close. <laughs> you saw what happened when I tried. Oh no, I saw. Heidi, let's go. Heidi. Oh, next one. Or Clyde. Sorry, Clyde, not Heidi. Clyde. Checklist. Brad, I, I guess I might as well reveal her name at this point. You said yeah, Clyde. I know. Grab her 90 feet. All right, move 90 your, feet. Move yourself. I'll move her after. Wee. And then I'll move the actual map. Put down my circle for the last time. That is my turn. Where's my brother? Where's Theo? He's not dead. Are you sure? I teleported him away. I don't know where, but we'll find him after. Okay. Stony! Help me kick him in the head! <laughs> <laughs> Go for the flank. Go for the flank. I feel like he's together. Getting... We can kick like his count... ass. Is the count getting annoyed by me? No. Okay, good. The fact that you're still up means more things to burn. 
Oh, motherfucker. But that means he never got to fully burn. Eh. No. Yes. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, he's still he's up. No yet. Well, yeah, I didn't <laughs> think seven damage. I don't think he's at seven damage. Uh, no, I, I'd tell you, pretty much. Uh, should I flurry? I don't know. Yeah. Well, Johanna says yes. I'll be back in just a second. So that's a one, dif one for yes. And one is they're gone. Uh? <laughs> oh god, you're all yeah. so low and his turn's next. Uh. <laughs> hey, Sony, you got a way to deal enough to down him right here? <laughs> <laughs> you got a super surprise attack in your back pocket? Welcome back. Everything's going shit. No, you're good. Unless there is some mean this fight. Unless there is some physical way that he fails a con save and I use stunning strike, probably. <laughs> Unless he's immune to being stunned. Oh, hey, look at exactly. that. Exactly. It, it's better to just hit him. Yeah, I guess I'm flurry. Take, yes. Flurry and take your two swings. I hate that my brain said no more chakra. I think this is the wrong game. <laughs> no, no more chakra. Chakra one. points. I, I feel like they would have gotten half the strike for that one. Six. Six. Seven. Thirteen total. No, nope, plus the plus the other hit earlier. What? Well, no, plus I already put already that one that. in. Yeah, I'm okay, saying number yeah. thirteen. He is up, and Stony, welcome to the club. If you take the swing at Stony, I could down him before the uh, the blow hits. Thank you, Dave. See ya, Stony. No. <laughs> Wait a second. I only moved twenty-five. If he tries to swing at you, I can hit him. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, I can still make a move. <laughs> or he'll just turn and slap me. Regardless, someone's going down, dig it. <laughs> well, if he tries to hit you, I can hit him first with the attack of opportunity and down him. You know what? For once in my life, I'm going to trust you with my life. Wow. You, I can say this right now. All of you are in the same range of hit points. It's just exactly. a matter of who can intercept the attack. <laughs> who deals That's damage first? So? Wow. Stony. I can't do anything else but move, and I don't want to move, so... You don't want to move? Uh, I'm gonna trust... I'm gonna trust Kovu. Okay. Stony's gonna trust. Right. Taz is gonna trust. Mm -hmm. And where's that trust gonna get you? Ten feet under. <laughs> I could... I could. <laughs> I could just be a dick. And just tunnel. <laughs> I could just be a dick and teleport him. But no, I want to see that chance, Stony, incoming. Oh god. Damn. No. Ah, uh, Stony, you trusted him with your I'm life. Okay. Huh? You trusted me. Your trust was not misplaced. It was literally just luck of the die on that one. <laughs> You trust in what happens? It's okay, it's the Hunger Games. You take- oh, wait. wait. Can, can, no, you don't resist. Wait! Ah, <laughs> uh, if that was one point less- I know! I 
You have exactly yeah. 12 HP, don't you? No, they have 14. 14. You, you can't do it for other people! Guardian, uh, Guardian Angel? Yeah! Yep. I'm casting on another person. You can have yep. the two to one! And so I'm Stony! Stony is up! <laughs> oh, yeah. Like so I I no Alright, you know what? Fuck it. That that's yeah. your last hurrah. <laughs> Who is he swinging at? <laughs> Damn it, that's a teleportation. Which means <laughs> No opportunity. Does a 17 no. hit? Um it Let me see. Does it? I actually uh, yeah, don't know. I to beat it anyway, even though uh, I did fate rating. You um, had a, you had a, your reaction to to save Stony. Yeah. No, it was my uh, my fate rating. Gives me a uh, Oh no, that is reaction. Never mind. You're right. <laughs> well, mm. you are down. The healer is down. You know what's that? The healer is down in the last breath of the fight, Hans. The white bear. Worth it. Coming in with the flying knee. It was worth it. Leaping over the building. Damn it. Missed yeah. the first kick. Come in with. Son of a. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know the drill. Oracle death save. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. up! <laughs> the he humor is, is up! You're at one. <laughs> what is this fight? This, this fight is the epitome of we didn't hear a bell. Okay, now I, I can't remember. I'm is not bringing you down with me? I can't remember. Nat twenty death save. Does that mean they still get Nat, their turn? Death save is at the start of the turn. Okay, you're good. Death. Oracle, you got your turn. Now, Oracle, if you have something to heal, then heal. But otherwise, stand right there. Get your flanking and your shocking grass. <laughs> otherwise, get your god or, <laughs> flank. Or if you have a spell that just does, um, in, I say, if they, no matter if they fail or if they succeed, they take damage. Oh yeah, if you've got a, a half on a success. That is uh, that is very true. If you How have any I left, yeah, guaranteed do. damage is fine with as little health as he has. I believe he's that one or two. <laughs> I will have a better chance of making an attack roll than I will making a, uh... Actually, no, that's gonna be disadvantage because of close rage. No, Which Shocking Grab yeah. still is a touch spell. Yeah, so, you can still no, use it as touch. So, it being a melee me. spell with flanking gives you advantage. Well, uh, I, I, I don't remember exactly how it works, but remember, uh, Argos, you can still turn some of your range spells into touch. That is true. I don't remember if it's specific on what it is, though. Uh, no. Just just any ranged attack. So, okay, yeah, I totally forgot about that. So I'm going to do Scorching Ray. Uh, upcast level 3. So 4. So you're making so Scorching Ray a magic attack? Get that flank. Get just that yeah. flank because like a free advantage roll. Fire punches. Fire punches. <clears throat> No. No one. Yes. 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 How do you want to do it? Five. Father like daughter. <laughs> the twenty five. I, I am going to just reach up towards his mouth and cast it from my palm. As I am concerned that he just killed Theo. Oh, yeah, fair. No, you wouldn't know what your daughter just did. It's very hectic right now with all the death and life happening. <laughs> like going on right now. And plus, I got knocked unconscious and regained consciousness. So, things are <laughs> a little hazy right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. And as you are just consistently burn, 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 eventually, the visage in front of you burns away into nothing. Congratulations. By the skin of your freaking teeth. Hey, you won. We won. Immediately go and stabilize Stony. Stony's still up. Yeah, Stony's oh, at one. Right. 
I never went down. <laughs> Remember, you know, Oracle the saved them. So I'm at one. Or Oracle made the 14 damage turn into 13, putting them at one. Yeah, I mean, I tell because again. <laughs> Tiny Remember health bar. bar. Tiny, Tiny health bar. Okay. Is, Tiny is Johanna and Clyde gonna come closer? Yeah, we'll come closer. Yay. However, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the end of the session for now. Hooray! We did it! Yay! <laughs> you, you beat one count of Monte Cristo. Four more to go. Oh, God. It's <laughs> one last one we gotta deal with. I'll take it. Now, when I say this, I say this to everyone... Except for Oracle. God, you guys could have at least tried to stay up. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> technically, that is true. Okay. <laughs> 29 HP. I don't want to hear this shit. Oracle's at 28. Yeah. <laughs> Excuses. <laughs> hey, he, he broke through every single one of my defenses. I could not stop him. That is true. You did well. I had I freaking. I had shield. Oh. I had. I had. I had a thing where he was rolling a disadvantage at me. I don't know what more I could do. <laughs> I'm just glad I wasn't targeted. That... Not fully, but you were now and again. <laughs> Not being targeted allowed me to keep everybody up. Yeah. Because if I were targeted, then yeah. If you were in Johanna's shoes and the first to go down, who this fight would be different. God, I regret being base monk. I should have been laser llama monk. I'd have so many more <laughs> freaking key points. Yes. Honestly, you would have so many more things you could do even without your key points. But yeah, hey. The only thing that sucks is most of the stuff you have to wait until a higher level, like deflect missiles is until level 5 for laser llama. The party has taken out one Count of Monte Cristo, and there's some people taking out the others. But is it enough? Will there be any people who die from this? Is Theo actually alive? The answer is yes. Is Ren actually alive? I don't know. We don't know. Ren is Ren, Do therefore... Really think something as measly as a Monte Cristo could destroy Ren? Yeah, hey, I'm looking at Ren's 10 hit points. I think a 20 could down him. <laughs> yes, but Ren is Ren. You're right. Ren is Ren. And as well, that weird account who's almost forcing Zack to make a contract. What's going to come of that? If anything. What do you mean, almost? Well, Zach could still say no. <laughs> he has a choice, even if he doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it's like saying, give me your money, otherwise I will shoot you in the kneecap. I don't have to give you money. No, it's, it's, more, it's, it's more like, give me your money or this guy's gonna shoot you in the kneecaps. <laughs> Aim me to protect you. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Just forcing him to be a bodyguard. But no, no, not yet. Not yet. Not until right. next time. Are you... So until You're next time comes, comes, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.